Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is basically a zodiac sign reading for all of the signs, okay? So I'm going to go down one by one and give you guys a quick short to the point reading, all right? I do want to mention that I am open for readings. Please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. I also want to thank you guys for the like, share, shares, comments, and subscribes. Um, I want to let you guys know that I know a lot of people are requesting love readings um, for my channel. A lot of people want to see a lot of like romance readings and all of that. I'm going to get to them, but I've been more in a serious kind of energy. Um, it's something that's going on with me spiritually where my angels and guides are more focused on like higher frequencies. Um, not saying that love isn't. Love is the most highest frequency, but they're... They want me to kind of um, focus more on different, you know, topics. And right now they have me tapping more into a lot of my mediumship abilities. Although I didn't ask for it. They um, have me, you know, working more in the realm of working with spirits right now um, who have passed on as well as just leveling up myself. Okay, so that's happening. I will be doing these love readings, but only when I feel called to do them. Oh, they're also wanting me to tell you. These are my guides coming through, telling me, <laughs> reminding me what to tell you guys. Um, also, when it comes to like, um, I also got some emails where people are like, oh, can you do a reading on this past on person? Or can you do a reading on this celebrity? And I want to let you guys know that I don't like purposely dig into celebrities. I don't go and sit down and say, you know what? I want to do a, a reading on so-and-so today. And it's not how that works for me. Usually when I receive a, a message, it's because it's channeled, mean, meaning that it's been given to me. If I have any mediumship encounter, that means that that spirit has come to me. Now, in the past, I have had or I've accidentally tapped into um, someone who's passed away their energy. Um, but usually I am, how do I explain to you guys? Like usually I'm, con I'm contacted. So usually spirits on the other side, they try to communicate with, you know, spirit, other spirits who are here in the 3D that can hear them, that are more open, okay? So that's kind of the way I work. I'm going to make a video about that sharing um, how it works for me. But yeah, like any spirit that I, or like any celebrity or person that I um, have channeled or had a mediumship encounter with, I will, you know... I'll try to share it if I can if I can get permission from my guides if it's okay. But um from here on out I'll share it. But any of those experiences have been because that spirit has come to me or my guides. First they have to come to my guides before they get to me. Um that's a whole nother thing to try to explain to you guys. But anyways, um so that's what it is. And the other thing is like you don't want to tap into everyone's reading. I know some people are really into celebrity readings. Um, but here's my deal on it. I'm kind of in between, to be really honest with you guys. I'm really in between with celebrity readings because to me, it borderlines gossip, you know, it, and I don't, I'm not big on gossip and I'm not um, big on digging into people's energy because you don't know what's in their energy field and you don't know, you just don't want to tap into everybody's energy, you guys. I'm going to be really honest with you um, because sometimes you don't want to dig a hole for yourself, okay? Especially when you're, you know, very um, sensitive to energy. You don't know whose energy you're picking up on and what they may, you know, what they may be doing or working with. So... Look, I mind my business, all right? I mind my business unless, you know, a spirit comes to me and I feel comfortable working with that spirit, then I'll, you know, share whatever message they have to be shared, all right? So I'll tell you guys more about that later on, but let's get into this Zodiac sign reading. So I'm going to start with Cap... <laughs> I want to say Cappies. Capricorns, that's interesting, okay? So Capricorn, you are first. Those of you who have a sun, moon, rising, Venus... Mars, Mercury, Capricorn, whatever, wherever Capricorn is in your chart, if you feel called to watch this, hey, let's get into it, baby. Dear God, dear Holy Spirit, I'm going to ring the bell. Holy Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know right now? Let's keep a clear, straight, to the point message. Please use me as divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light. What does Capricorn need to know? Those under the zodiac sign of Capricorn release tension, release stress in your body. A lot of you guys need a shoulder rub, back rub, shoulder rub. Your neck needs to be like I'm hearing. You need a stretch. You need to. You need a realignment, realignment of the spine of the back is what they're saying. You guys might want to look up that. They have stretches on that YouTube. Um, YouTube. 
the power of YouTube. Um, but no, for real, there are stretches uh, that you can do yoga stretches. There are um, people who are chiropractors um, and physical therapists who share different stretches for your, um, I'm hearing back. Yeah, some of you, it's your lower back. For some of you, it's like upper near your neck. Yeah, a lot of you guys need to work on stretching and releasing tension from your body because a lot of you guys, you're holding up, um, you're holding a lot of stored energy in your back, neck, shoulders, um, shoulder blades. I don't know why they just said upper arms. Some of you guys may not even realize you're, you're, you're holding your shoulders up. And then a lot of you, it's like your mid to lower back as well. So yeah, you guys want to work on that. All right, Capricorns, what's going on? What do you need to... All right now, we have strength card. We have three of wands. We have the moon looking towards the future. That's what I just heard. Fear of the unknown. Three of swords are uh, the emotions. Okay, so you guys need to be tapping more into who they just sit your heart space. Okay, there could be some communication that's going to come up very soon. That may be a bit difficult. I want to keep it really real with you guys. It may be something that you need to express, something that you really need to feel, some type of conversation, some some type of message you need to get out, okay? It's it's weighing on you. It's taking its toll for way too long. Um, they're also saying this could also be someone uh, communicating with you very soon about something. So basically, you're being called to have strength during this time, all right? Strength during this time. They're saying take some time for yourself. I'm really getting a laid back approach. They want you guys to just kind of wait. I'm getting, now it's like, it's not a hangman wait. Um, it's not an eight of swords. I'm trapped. This is more of like, you know what? I'm going to rest. I'm going to have faith in the unknown. I'm going to believe that there's better on the other side. But we have three here twice, you know, and, and for me, three is your number. I don't know why they're, they just said three is your number. For me, this is letting me know that it's time to, how do I say this? It's time to collab. It's time to communicate. Some of you guys might need, may need to seek a therapist or um, someone you can trust that you can speak to to just, you know, hear you out. Because for some of you, I'm hearing like, it's just emotions that you can't process. Um, that you don't un understand. For some of you, it's like I've been feeling numb or I'm just feeling bl bland. It's kind of like a bland feeling. And I don't know why. And it's because there's still some like stagnant energy that's kind of stored up in your lower to upper back. And it has to do with your heart chakra. Because they're showing me a really trippy scene right now. They're showing me the chakras. But they're showing me like a, a figure of a body kind of turning. Kind of like it's like some type of like figure on a computer kind of turning. And they're showing me how you have all this pressure and tension, kind of like a scan, all up and down your body. But it's like on your back, but it's affected by your heart. Like your heart is triggering it. So you guys, you really need to do something, some type of stretch, some type of, um, I'm telling you, some type of body activity, some type of physical activity that's going to help um, break, like, break up stagnant energy that's stored in those areas. A lot of stretching will be very helpful for you. And don't be shocked that when you start doing this, that you may start feeling emotions like come up to surface. It's a, it's a release. It's a de detox. It's a purging of it. And um, it's to get it out of your body. Okay. So I'm telling you guys, it's the upper body, lower back to upper body and your heart space is triggering it. It's too much weight. I'm hearing too much of a burden to carry. So a lot of you are just needing to detox. And if you're if this is past energy, because I'm getting that for someone, I just heard someone say, Well, that happened a while back. Yeah, it's still in your your field, it's still in your aura field, it's still in your energy. So I'm getting purge detox. I'm getting a boredom here as well. Something about being bored. Um, a bit of an impatience here. They're saying that things take time. Don't worry about the unknown. Look, you guys have Luna here twice. You have the moon here twice, you guys. So we have inner flow and cycle, okay? So you guys are really needed to tap into that inner flow and cycle. I don't know why this card is making me think of Monsters, Inc., okay? You guys may feel called to watch the movie Monsters, Inc. I know that sounds really strange, but that's what they're telling me right now. They want you guys to find the humor in the small things in life. For some of you, this could have been something that happened in your childhood, Either way, it's like, I'm not afraid of monsters anymore. That's what I just heard. I'm not afraid of the dark. 
I'm not afraid of what's in the dark anymore. I'm not afraid of the unknown. I'm not afraid of my shadow aspects. I'm healing these things. I'm facing it. I'm confronting it. I'm no longer hiding it away. I'm no longer hiding from it. I'm hearing I no longer cover my head at night. You know, it's like I'm I'm not afraid. I'm hearing um, Jill Scott. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Yeah, you guys are realizing, you know what? These memories can't hunt me anymore. These, these, these things that used to hurt me can't hurt me anymore. Okay? They can't hurt me anymore. So you guys, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a slow and steady process, but you guys are becoming stronger. Also, look, you guys have the sun and the moon, which is masculine and feminine energy. Yin and yang. Okay? So gold and silver, we have deserved reward and purpose. See? Deserved reward and purpose. Trust and believe that things are going to be shown to you in due time, is what I'm hearing. In due time, the light will come. So, I want to know what's going on here with this Three of Swords. What's happening? Angelic communication. Yeah, Azura. So, you guys are connecting with angels, Capricorn. They're coming through and they're saying, look, we want to help you. We want to help you to re release this, this weight. Like, re release this weird energy. Because it's kind of like a, it's a, a feeling of like, how do I say this? You're sitting there and you're like, I feel some type of way, but I don't know what I'm feeling. That's what what it's like. It's like when you have when you're hungry, but you don't have a taste for anything. <laughs> Comment below if you know what I mean. Like you know you're hungry, but you don't have a taste for anything in particular. You're like, okay, I'm hungry though. I just don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. That's the vibe I'm getting. What do we have here? Segment warrior spirit. Yeah, that's that strength coming through. So look, you guys are needing to focus on keeping your composure. So I just heard holding, keeping, keeping your composure. Things are going to take off for you very soon. The, the area that you're in in life right now, it's a little weird. It's a little tricky. It's like the twilight zone. It's the in-between, not really the upside down and stranger things, but it's a bit of like, uh, this waiting phase. It's the in-between right now, but they're saying, don't worry about it. Things are going to get better. This is just a moment for you to reflect. This is a moment for you to release okay and get clear also get clear about what it is you want in your life all right because there's change coming very soon so you guys are like i call this stage the airport um what is it airport terminal it's like you're in the um you're waiting okay and you're not sure if this if you're waiting um where you're waiting to go but you know you're about to, to go somewhere so it takes time for flowers to bloom, okay? So you're here waiting for your, your flight to board, even though you don't know where it's taking you, okay? That's the vibe, okay? Wisdom, yeah. The moon, look at that. You guys really want to work with the moon cycles because you guys have three cards up and down that are all moon energy. And I wish I could share this with you. I hope you guys can see it a little bit better. Sorry. Yeah, you guys have the the owl here with the moon. So midnight energy. Don't be shocked if you guys end up waking up or just feeling a lot of energy around nighttime. Um, that's that's saying a lot. That's it. That's the energy you're working with. The moon represents emotions, what's hidden, um, femininity. Those are things that you're needing to focus on. Your emotions, um, being feeling re being receptive to what's to come, and also creation. You guys. You may get a wave of um, inspiration to create something, okay? And things take time, so you, don't worry that you will have your success, okay? I know I feel like a lot of you guys are like, okay, well, when it will it be my time? You know, when will I be able to take off? When will I be, be able to achieve my purpose? It's coming. So you guys have retreat, yeah. Mm -hmm. With the angelic communication and retreat here, and this looks like, you know, camping or maybe a little, you know, picnic, doing something, your an angels are telling you guys to retreat so that you can complete this final stage of healing, okay? Because I do feel like it's a final stage because look where you're going, leadership, okay? So with the leadership and warrior spirit, this is a lot. It's like I've overcome so much. Your story is one of those where you're like, okay, look, I I went through so I I went through this and I overcame it. So a success story, all right? Give me one card for the Son of Capricorn. 
get out of your comfort zone. Ooh, okay. So the next stage that's coming in life will push you out of your comfort zone. It's that you're about to get on a flight. You know, it's like, where will I go? So very soon, your angels are going to push you out of this comfort zone. All right. So embrace the meantime. Okay. If you feel like things aren't moving, you feel like, okay, there's a bit of like a stalemate here. Embrace it and just feel your way through it. Because like I literally feel your way, not just like touch, but actually like feel those emotions, let them come up. If you feel like getting, you know, angry and sad, of course, don't, you know, aim that energy on anyone, but feel it, bring it up. It's like when someone's, you know, feels like they're about to cry and they stop themselves. No, cry, feel it, let that stuff come up so that you can release it from your body. So that you can release it, okay? So some of you might actually do an activity um, during this time like boxing or um, some type of physical activity that's going to help shake this stagnant energy up. It could be stretching. It, be, it could be going to a chiropractor. It could be going to an acupuncturist but, or Reiki um, healer. But you guys need to release this energy that's in your body so that you can feel more, I'm hearing lightweight, more clear, because the next stage in your life is going to take a lot of energy. It's going to, not in a bad way, it's going to just push you out of your comfort zone. You're going to be in a leadership position, and you're going to be, I'm hearing, standing very firm and very strong, okay? Well, at the bottom, you guys have shungite, detox your life. That's perfect. Yeah, so you guys want to work with appetite and shungite, all right? So let me see what else you guys um, need to know. One more card. You guys want to look up the animal totem owl wisdom knowledge okay things being shared to you during during um the night time all right then the sun and the moon work with those energies wisely okay when can i do my rituals where it will connect with the sun and the moon think about it do you need to wake up at a certain time do you need to go to bed at a certain time You're giving me the energy of like when the when the moon is still out and the sun is it comes out. It's it's a beautiful time. Okay, so what do we have? I continuously push myself to learn and develop in areas of life that bring me happiness, freedom, and purpose. Okay, hope you guys can see that. And it says the definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Success is extremely subjective and never guaranteed. However, if you do not try, you have a 100% chance of failing. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alternatively, hold on, why did I say alternatively? Well, alternately, <laughs> if you ever, hold on, if you never stop trying, you have a 100% chance of learning and experiencing something new. So never stop trying. If you commit to learning and gaining new experience in the direction of your dreams, you'll fill your journey with success okay happiness freedom and purpose so if you commit to learning and gaining new experience in the direction of your dreams you'll fill your journey with success happiness freedom and purpose and you have another card talking about purpose and happiness so follow your dreams okay commit to learning and gaining new wisdom in fact i want you guys to take a screenshot of that and keep it because you have two cards talking about purpose and reward and and I, I do feel in, in the moon cycle. So um, look, we are all on our own timing. They want you guys to know that we are all on our own timing. Do not compare yourself to others. In fact, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be coming off of social media. Hear me out. I feel like a lot of you need to come off of social media during this time, Cappies. Retreat. That card said retreat. Go pick up a book. Go pick up something that has to do with something you love or something you just want to learn about. Um, your your perception, your your perspective is going to be changing on something. I'm telling you, I'm hearing wiser, smarter, more skilled, more intuitive, intuition, really like. I'm hearing, I don't know why they said picking up momentum, like your intuition is going to be strengthened. Okay, and I think this detox, the shungite, usually people put shungite near technology. So, I, you know, I, I think you guys need to kind of take a step away from technology, all right? And do some reading and do some writing, some journaling, and some creating, okay? Painting is what they just said. There's something that needs to be channeled through you. They're showing me, um, what is that artist who has a mustache? He was kind of creepy. It's Salvador Dali. I don't know why they showed me like him. They showed me Frida Kahlo. Some of you guys need to just like use art 
um, even if it's finger painting, use that to transmute some energy, okay? So you have the sun and the moon here. You guys really want to keep that in mind. That's extremely important for you guys, the sun and the moon. I mean, that's alchemy, okay? That's a great way to create magic in your life. That's a great way to tap into um, balance. I don't know why they said tap into balance, okay? So Capricorn, that was extremely important for you guys. Remember to have patience for with yourself, for yourself, with yourself. You know, you are on your own timing. Do not compare yourself to others. Don't allow people to tell you what to do with your life. You guys just focus on healing your heart and connecting with your angels because they're speaking with you guys during this time, okay? Archangel Gabriel, I'm hearing very strongly, and Archangel Michael, all right? And some of you guys may have a connection to segment, all right? So thank you very much, Cappies, but I am moving on, of course, to Taurus. Hey, Taurians, how are you guys doing? I'm going to ring the bell. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus. I'm hearing restart, reboot. They just, um, they're, they're, they're playing to me um, the sound of when, a, when an Apple computer reboots. They're even playing the old sound of when Windows, Windows computers, Microsoft computers used to reboot. Like, I mean, old. They're even saying AOL. Got mail. I don't know if the movie You Got Mail might be significant, but something about getting mail. Something about, um, hold on, you guys. Something about technology, um, communicating with someone over the internet but they're showing me like the computer specifically i know a lot of people do a lot of communication over their cell phones now but they're showing me like a computer like an email like a pen pal or um something maybe long distance or communicating um wow they just said different lifetimes what was that movie where the woman was communicating with someone but they were from different dimensions like not different different time frames is that is the sandra bullock in that one where it's like she was messaging him or sending him letters or something like that but he was in a different time frame or something something weird and they're also giving me you got mail something like that i actually had an experience like that where this person was um sending me messages of his poetry I always wonder what happened to him he was sending me poetry via my hotspot which is like a little wi-fi system but it has its own number so i was receiving a lot of his poetry and one day i told him that um because he thought he was messaging a friend of his one day i told him i said i'm not you know i'm not who you think i am like i'm not your friend you have the wrong number but i i enjoy your poetry thank you for sending me your poetry um and he was like oh you know i'm sorry he was like but thank you so much he was like oh this is like a you got mail experience and it's it was so i don't know something interesting about it because he didn't know he was sending his you know poetry to a, a number that you know well he thought it was a friend but it, it was you know his friend didn't have that number anymore so um i don't know it was really strange it was trippy but he was really talented um anyways <laughs> it's crazy because i don't know who that was and he didn't know who i was and was something interesting about it but of course stuff like that can also be dangerous so think about like all the 90s and in 2000s like shows where they tried to raise awareness of like you know be careful who you're speaking to online because you never know who you're speaking to and especially in this day and age because a lot of people do a lot of dating online communicating online so you guys want to be careful Taurus. i don't know what that's about i don't i don't i don't know what the heck that's about why that's coming through um like i said sometimes people meet the love of their life online and sometimes people meet creep creepos and you always want to be careful because you never know who you are talking to or what their intentions or motives are okay because they're you just want to be careful so i don't know what that's about maybe you guys are going to be receiving a lot of mail soon a lot of messages quite soon about something um if this i don't know what this is about it kind of feels like yeah queen of pentacles that's you taurus that's you it's almost like you're being seen in some type of way. I don't know what this is about, you guys. Let's get into it. Queen of Pentacles. What is this? Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. Yeah, protect your energy. I feel like people are trying to pull you in different directions. See how all these hands are on her face? It's like, I feel that for some reason, you guys are going to be getting some type of attention. This could even be people wanting your help, wanting your opinion. 
um, just wanting your time, like wanting to, you know, wanting your energy. So you guys want to protect yourself even on, on social media. You may feel called to make your, if you have a public page, you may feel called to make it private. If you're on YouTube, you may feel called to, um, not to angle your camera in a way where it doesn't show your face. Um, just for, there's a certain period of time where you guys really need to kind of like preserve your energy and protect your energy, protect your image. Okay. Um, because I just feel like people are going to like, it doesn't mean that they're all like negative or bad. I just get that people are really pulling on your energy field. Um, I don't know if you guys are on a platform, if you guys are doing something where you're being seen or where you're just, a lot of your work is being seen, but I'm getting that your energy is going to be pulled at from different directions. So this could also be family calling you guys, asking you guys for help, or um, maybe you guys just feeling overwhelmed with like, okay, I already have my own stuff to deal with or to handle. And now people are, you know, wanting me to come and do this, wanting me to come and hang out, ask me this. So I'm just getting good energy of a lot of people are going to want, um, going to be grabbing at your energy and grabbing at your attention and wanting your time. This is the perfect time for you guys to set healthy boundaries with others. All right. Ten of Swords, yeah, because if you don't, you're going to feel depleted. Okay, so perfect time for you guys to do, they just said, uh, what is it, what is it, oh, shucks. You guys, they just said, um, I think it's pronounced Olympia, Olympia, the egg cleanse. Like, you guys, you may feel called to do some spiritual cleanses right now. Um, like, staying up on your spiritual cleanses, whether this is like, you know, a spiritual bath, spiritual shower, um white baths whatever you feel called to do to cleanse your energy whatever practice you feel called to um to do to cleanse your energy and like stay on top of that okay you guys may also feel called to cover your crown chakra during this time okay because i just i really do feel like that's coming through um like keeping a, a protective amulet on you like on your like a necklace a protective um necklace or in bracelet um keeping something on you for protection anointing yourself a holy oil holy water yeah because i just feel like um there's a lot of like energies that want you right now like i it's i'm telling you it's like people thinking about you people oh i should call so-and-so oh, i should communicate with so-and-so is what i'm hearing and it's a lot sometimes and you guys could be feeling drained out of nowhere so keep that in mind um protect your energy yeah, because I'm just getting, like, a lot of people pulling at you where you may even have a hard time sleeping at night. I mean, you guys have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Like, yeah, storyteller. Look at that. You guys have the owl here. People want to hear about you. People want to know what you're doing. They want to... You guys are... I wouldn't be shocked. Like, I'm not... Well, I'm done with the tarot, but, like, if I had kept going, I wouldn't be shocked if you guys had had the star card. Because it's like you guys are being seen. And she, there's stars here in this. You guys are being seen. Resilience. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Strength. Perseverance. That's what I just heard. Persevere. Okay. Don't let this make you timid. Don't let this make you um, paranoid. The point is to protect your energy and know when to withdraw your energy. Okay. Yeah. Summer. Look at the hummingbird. So something could be happening for you guys in summer. Yeah, look, she's resting. She's like, I'm not even with the shits. That's what I just heard. I'm not with the shits. I don't know what that meant for someone. But I'm like, I'm not with all of this. Like, I'm just going to mind my own business. Look, we have love coming in for you guys. Uh-oh. Summer loving happened so fast. That's what they just said. So for some of you, remember I talked about the whole pen pal thing? Protect your energy. Some of you guys could be dating or meeting a lot of people quite soon. Um, but the more you, I don't know why, but I usually don't want to say this to people, but I'm, for you guys, I'm getting the more you withdraw, like the more you like take a step back, call back all your energy, call back all your power from all timelines, all places, you know, things, situations, um, call back all your power and call back all your energy. You need to, you guys need to make that your affirmation as well as I am protected. I'm divinely guided. I'm divinely watched over. You guys want to work with Archangel Michael. But um, I do feel like you guys need to call back all your energy. But the point is, I do feel like a lot of people are, are tugging at you, even energetically speaking, people thinking about you. Um, I'm going to be real with you. For some of you, this could be someone winking off or getting off to the idea of you that pulls on your energy as well. People talking about you. So 
first of all, there could even be a bit of like a little gossip, but they're saying don't be anxious or don't be worried. I also feel like some of you guys are empaths and you could be picking up on the energy of others. I mean, you're up all night or you're feeling, you know, defensive and it's it's not even your energy. So be aware of that. For some of you, you're also needing to do like a wound cleanse, Yanni cleanse. Um, and even for the um, masculine energies out there, you guys are do needing to do a cleanse. So especially if you um, are, have been, um, you know, uh, how do I say this, um, active with someone, even if you know you guys need to cleanse your energy felt because you guys still have some of their energy, okay? And we have the communication here. Uh-huh, I said that. That's that whole letter. Look, that looks vintage. Um, it's a mail. Like, I, I do feel like you guys are going to receive some type of communication, but it could be from someone that you guys need to, like, uh, let go of, okay? I'm going to be real with you. For some of you, there's communication that's coming from a devil energy that you guys are going to need to kind of free yourself from. Cut the cords, Archangel Michael. You guys are going to work with Archangel Michael to cut the cords. There's going to be ending of something. Um, yeah, this could be you guys closing out a chapter with someone is also what I'm hearing, okay? And the other few of you, there could be communication coming in about a new beginning, um, very soon uh, that will kind of like propel you like kind of push you to close the chapter out but I'm hearing everything isn't what it seems okay so be aware of who you're speaking to online if you guys talk to people online and also just be aware of the people you're entertaining in general make sure that they're not like um I don't know why they just said gaslighting but make sure that they're not saying make sure that they are who they say they are and don't give any information. I, it's crazy because I actually think you guys need to kind of pull back, withdraw, and observe people, okay? But there is a lot of communication, which is like Archangel Gabriel coming through. So if anything, you guys want to like ask Archangel Gabriel to give you guys um, clear communication and to show people true colors to you, okay? That's where you want to work with Archangels. For some reason, I just also heard Archangel Metatron for some of you, okay? But there is love coming, but it may be kind of clouded with um, an illusion, meaning that there could be someone else that's going to reach out to you that you may be like, okay, I have two options here. or And it may be at the same time, or one could be first. And this person is going to be a trickster. I'm hearing they're going to be a trickster, and you're going to have to weed them out. But you're going to have to know who's who. All right. So that's interesting. But there is someone that's divinely guided that's coming along your path. You have a lot of birds here, which are messengers. So definitely some type of message coming to you quite soon. Blush. Mm-hmm. Cheerful love. Yeah. This is here. You guys are going to have like an imposter. Like someone who's going to want... Yeah, think about the whole online thing, how people act like other people. Like, they're, be careful of that. There's scammers out here. Um, it's crazy how these colors, like pink and blue, is here heavy. But I'm getting, like, someone acting like they're someone. Like, they're acting like a certain energy, and they're not. We have Typha, Earth energy. So you guys are needing to ground yourselves. Yeah, take a step back. Like, make your pages, you know, um, private if you can. If you're, um, if you're a business and you, ha and, you know, you have to, you know, keep your page um, public, at least, you know, cover your head or don't show your face, okay? And don't share everything. That's really what I'm getting. I'm getting, like, someone cleansing their social media, cleansing things, like, um, meaning, like, making sure you're not sharing your locations, yeah, I'm hearing stay stay mysterious, Torian. Stay mysterious for this amount of time so that you can pick up on stuff. Yeah, toughen your spirit, spinach. Look at that. You have that green here. Toughen your spirit, spinach. You might actually feel called to eat more spinach. But yeah, you guys are going to be strengthening your... or This is spiritual hygiene. They're saying there's spiritual maintenance that needs to be done. What do we have here? Minos sacrifice yeah mm -hmm. so look there's some like things that you're gonna have to release let go of and I, I really for some of you this could be a person um that you know you have to let go of and for some of you this is a person that's about to come in they're gonna be like okay no like <laughs> not them like no you gotta go but for some of you like I said there's gonna be communication coming through and um it may give you clarity 
all right, about a certain person in your life that you may have to let go of. Eden, owed a new order, yeah. Like letting go of the old in order to bring in the new. But here's the deal. I'm going to do something that I didn't do for anyone else. I'm going to do this for you. I want to know. That is crazy. As I said, that two cards fell. I wanted to say, I want to know why the heck is this um, communication card here? But we have the five of wands. We have the lovers and we have the three of cups. So this could be a third party situation. Someone could be dealing with someone on the side. Because there's two women here in this lover's card, all right? And you have the three of cups. And what's crazy is you have, this looks like the same flower, resilience. Like you've been strong through it all. Whoa, things are falling. Yeah, I'm getting things are falling apart. So for some of you, this could be a re, like a, someone you were talking to or in a relationship with where it's time to like, it's time to call it quits because they're bringing drama your way. It's conflict. So that could be ending with a situation like that. For some of you, it's a friendship that you guys could be ending out. There's something that you guys are going to be um, like ending out and it's due to a conflict. You know, it's like, you know what? I don't have time for this energy anymore. Like I don't have time to argue. Like there's bigger and better things that are coming you guys way. So there, here's the deal. Your angels are saying to stay away from conflict. Stay out of drama. Um, if Stay out of stuff like that. It, once you commute, once you receive this communication and, and it seems off, you know end it yeah nine of pentacles don't be afraid to go at it alone single independent yeah don't be afraid to do you okay protect your energy because i feel like people are wanting you to get dragged in they want you to it's like they're energy vampires they want you to um to give your energy even in this even if it's toxic they just want to have a taste of your energy so be aware this could even be like family members that you guys might be like you know what i don't have time for this okay so don't entertain the bs keep it moving stay positive let's see what else you guys need to know because i'm telling you guys this is a preparation i'm hearing like Arts, communication as well, technology, development, something with technology. You guys may feel called to work in technology. What is this? Malachite. <laughs> Look at that green. Yeah, you guys want to work with green, the color green, pink, blue. Um, it's time to transform. Yeah, meaning that it's time to do this rebirth, kind of like a Scorpio vibe. You guys may actually want to, I don't know what Scorpio is going to have, but you guys might want to check out the reading. Selenite, clear the clutter. I'm here to clear the junk, clear the issue, clear the mess. If someone's coming into your life with some BS, clear it out. Selenite is also good for protection. Um, it's good to clear a space. So you guys, I'm, I'm just getting like a shed, transformation, detox, clear, clarify. Wow, that's what I just heard, clarify. I'm actually hearing Clarity by John Mayer. You guys might want to look up the lyric set song and listen to it. It's giving me a 2000s vibe. But anyways... Um, you guys, the deal is you're over the old ish. You're over old ways of communication, old ways of dealing with, you know, the same situation. You're over it with it. You're cutting out, you know, the BS. You're cutting the cords to past situations. You're ready to move on to something better. So during this time, you may find yourself being in your own world. You may find yourself wanting to withdraw a bit. And they're saying it's, it's totally fine. You guys could be picking up a good book. Um, this could even be a fictional book. Like, you guys could be picking up a book. You guys could be writing, tapping into some writing. Some of you guys could be writing a love novel. Um, I don't know why they just sit Lost City, that that movie. It's really cute. Um, you guys are going to be spending time in nature, grounding your energy. I really do feel you guys being in your own zone. It's kind of like this creative little bubble that's going to, like, bring about some really amazing things. But... They're showing me 2000, like movies from the 2000s, like, you know, rom coms from the 2000s where, like, the computer goes off because someone's gotten some type of mail. Oh, Lover Boy. They just said Lover Boy. Okay, you guys watch Bringing Down the House. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you never know who's communicating with you. They want you guys to watch that for some reason. But even in that movie, there were some sacrifices that he had to make because he realized he was working too hard and that he needed to spend time more with his family. So for you guys, it could be something like that, but I'm really getting that you need to spend more time with yourself. Like, okay, look, I can't be here for everyone. Like, I need me time. I need time for, to rest. Um, these two women have their eyes shut. I'm getting like someone needs to be cuddled. Someone needs to be held. So you guys are going to find yourself really nurturing, like feeling being in this nurturing um, mood, wanting to nurture yourself. I'm getting the body pillow. Turquoise, prioritize your health. Yeah. You guys need to take care of your own well-being. 
taking care of your own health at this time would be your main priority okay so body pillow comfort rom-coms um spending time in nature that kind of vibe taking it easy that's the vibe you guys even if you're masculine energy that's the vibe you know i'm getting a the movie um what is it the holiday cameron diaz i forgot her name the other lady's name anyways it's like i'm in my own zone i'm in my own bubble just kind of vibing just kind of chilling okay let's see what's going on look at that we have them clear the clutter right so you say you guys need to actually clean just focus on cleaning your space it's gonna make you feel better i release all distractions my life is simple and focused look at that could be someone trying to come in and distract you from something we have brothers trying to show up so some of you guys may be feeling called to connect with your brother or someone who is um, like a brother to you or you may be receiving communication from a brother remove anything in your life that is not of absolute value clear the clutter in your home your email inbox what did i say and your social media accounts the price of distraction is much greater than you think less just dist less distraction more awareness more focus on value, stronger relationships, high levels of creativity, more opportunities equals more success, happiness, and freedom. Okay? So take a screenshot of that. I'm telling you. Okay? I just said all of that. It's time to clear the clutter. Clean house. Can even be with some people. Okay? So clean house, release the distraction so that you can get focused. So I'm talking... Marie Kondo, feng shui your life, okay? Like, clean your 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 life up, all right? From the phone all the way down to the, the closet. So, that's what I have for you guys, Taurus. Like, I hope that was able to give you some type of clarity. Remember, you are resilient. You are strong. You are powerful. You are graceful. And it right now, it's just a time for you to focus on you. Like, this could be a huge glow up for you that's, you know, coming in. So, Prepare to release the old and to bring in the new and set boundaries with yourself and others, okay? This could even be a vow of silence. Look that up. So focus on your home life. Queen of Pentacles is all about the home life, nurturing your home, her foundation, so, and herself, because you are your first temple. You are your first home, and then your outward home, so that's what I have for you guys, all right, Taurus? Focus on healing. Now we have you go. Where did I put my pen at? Jeez Louise. I was like checking things down. Checking things down. Huh? Checking things off. Next we have a Virgo. I don't know why they just said, oh dear, I just got a runner in my pantyhose. I forgot I'm not wearing any. Something like that. That's from Pretty Woman. That was so random, but okay. Dear God, Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light only. What does the sign of Virgo need to know during this time? I'm actually feeling called to light some incense for you guys, so that could be a message in itself. Sensory. Yeah, you guys need silence. Put the work down. They just said put the work down, put the scheduler down. Put the book down, um, clear your schedule. Everything can wait. You guys need to chill for a sec. Like I'm hearing break time, recess, lunch time, go take a break. That's what I just heard. You guys need a break. Take a break, take a break, take a break, Virgos. A lot of times you guys are perfectionists. You guys work hard. I'm hearing you're crafty and that's beautiful. But you guys need to know that rest is also Rest is also productive. Rest is also productive. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You guys are coming off as like this very fiery, passionate, go-getter, creative energy right now, okay? May feeling, maybe feeling called to create some things. Now you guys have the Seven of Swords. It's like the creepiest Seven of Swords in my opinion, okay? But you guys have it. Seven of Swords. I don't know why I just heard... Cat, well, look at her teeth cavities. It reminds me of those little um, candy corns. I don't know. Anyways, the tower. Ooh, I just heard slow down before we make you slow down. The fool. Look at that. And she's been programmed by the TV. Look at that the TV in her head. 
Anyways, look. You guys need to take a break. You guys need to just step back. And I don't know why this tar makes me think of a, you know, the flower. The mouth sideways, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I just heard something being ripped apart. A structure being ripped apart. In order to build a new structure, it's it's like one of those home reno renovation shows, like home home improvement. Um, it 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 sh they're showing me like um, is it HGTV? What is it called? Um, they're showing me what's her name? She's this petite little blonde, and she used to go into um like old homes, and she would like bring it, bring you know bring it up to date. She would remodel it. It's, I'm actually seeing someone throwing a hammer into an old wall, like bringing the wall down. So you guys are going to be purposely, purposely? Whoa. You're going to be tearing down some type of structure on purpose. So yeah, this is very much like a Scorpio energy here with the, let me tear this down to rebuild. Let me have this Phoenix arising from the ashes energy this is the tower happened. This freed me so that I can take a leap of faith and go towards something totally new or create something totally new because what was once there was hidden. We didn't know what was behind that wall. We didn't know what was underneath that surface with the seven of swords. It could have been anything. So we decided to tear it down, um, get to the root of it so that we could see what was there and to move forward. That's what they just told me. So... Yeah, it's like, let's rip the floors up so that we can see what's underneath it. Let's tear the walls down to see what's behind it. Let's get to the surface of things, the root of things, so that we can see what's there in order to move forward, in order to create on top of it something that we do know will be there. So it's like, why lift off of something you don't know when you can get to the, the root of the issue and have this inner knowing and then create from there. I, I know that sounds really strange, you guys. But it's like, why build on something that you're not aware of? Like, don't build on a um, shaky foundation. You want to know the foundation that's underneath there. So it's like, I want to know the layout of this building. I want to know the layout of this home. I need to know the layout. I need to know before I build on top of it. I need to know what's there so that I don't build a new home, you know, on shaky old grounds. So I want to build it on clean, firm new grounds. So I, that's just a vibe. This could all be just symbolically this, could, you know, but this could be meaningful for someone where you actually are doing something with a home or maybe you're into architecture or construction, even interior design. But I am getting the vibe of you guys needing to get to the surf, like get to the bottom of things, okay? Tearing down the illusions, tearing down um, the old structure to get to the bottom of what's really there. Getting to the truth of things, to the root of things. And then deciding, okay, now that we're here at the root, let's, you know, let's rebuild, Let's move forward on this. So, yeah, tearing away the old foundation in order to create a totally new um, beginning for yourself is here. But there is a need to rest as well. So, there's something hidden, laying dormant um, that you are going to be um, bringing down. Ironically... I told, um, was it Taurus I did before? Yeah. Ironically, I told Taurus that their movie was bringing down the house. Like, I got that movie vibe. Um, but for you guys, it's the actual, it's the actual message behind, it's the actual title of the movie, bringing down the house. Like, you guys are bringing something down. Um, yeah, it's like London Bridges is falling down. Like, you guys are, you guys are bringing something down on purpose. Because you didn't know what was there. It was like something hidden. It's like when you tear up the room to, to find something. Um, you guys are 
you know what it's making me think of you guys it's making me think of that scene in um practical magic when Sandra Bullock hears that little bug and they have like the superstition that if their bug comes that means that that means that their husband is going something's gonna happen to their partner um because of a curse or something like that but she was tearing up those floors trying to find that little bug she was tearing everything up to get to it and um I don't know why they're showing me that ironically that house in that movie um brought a lot of attention you know well it got a lot of attention because the interior design was so beautiful and everyone wanted um that home they wanted to know where it was but it turned out it was just a set it was a set design and it um but the interior designer who, who worked on that project did so well that um apparently they were hired a lot during that time frame i don't know why they're telling me to tell you guys this so maybe some of you guys are into set design i don't know or maybe you guys need to look into these things and get inspired you guys are virgos so you're still connected with this earthy kind of home based kind of energy so it's time to restructure this is time to restructure something this could be a business this could be bill oh bill this could be a building um this could be a foundation, a home, a, like I said, a business, school, an idea, a project. It's like starting new. Okay. Getting to the core of it. Look what you guys have at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles, which is the home, in my opinion. The family. The home. The property. <laughs> oh, okay. So, look. This is clean slate. Let's start over. Let's get some new energy in here. That's what I just heard. Okay. Um very homey home projects could be calling you guys at this time home projects some of you guys could actually end up watching hgtv um whoa these cars just kind of flew anyways let's see what else do you guys need to know love guy okay, yeah, this just came out for your for um taurus what's going on here storyteller this just came out for for a taurus no, we're taking these back. But that could be a message for you guys. Someone could be giving you a, they said a false narrative. Whoa. Okay, so someone you guys need to be aware of right now. Persistence. Look, this person is painting or they're putting their paintings up on, on, on a wall. I'm telling you, this is like creating something with the home, something with your space. You guys need to focus on that. And she's holding a paintbrush. That's actually creepy. So painting your home space, painting while being at home, creating a space where you can paint at home. Another option had something with painting. Not option, another zodiac sign had something with painting. So I'm telling you this like design, okay? Focusing on the home life. This could even be moving stuff around in your space, but there's something you guys need to watch out for. We have the mother here. I mean, hey, maybe for some of you guys, it's your mother. For some of you guys, it's a mother figure, someone who has a child. Um, but there's someone that, or something that they're not telling you. We're going to figure it out. Hold on. What's the tower here for? Incantation. The story the parrot told. Whoa. Kiss the story. Something about a story. Mm -hmm. Something. It's like, you know what? I want the truth. I want the whole tr truth and nothing but the truth. And I'm also getting, um, what is that? If you can't, if you can't come correct, don't come, don't come at all. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what I just heard. Storm. Look at that. You guys have the storm here with the fool. That is interesting. Taking the leap of faith, even in the midst of the storm, even in the unknown. Even through the chaos, spiritual guidance. Look, you have this bird in your ear telling you what to do. So, look, I'm getting two messages here. There's going to be someone in your ear trying to tell you something that's not true, okay? And then you're going to have your angels and guides telling you something. It's like this other bird in your ear. So, it's like you need to have discernment to know your truth, to know what's true, to know what's right and what's for you. Because you guys could have someone trying to kind of like distract you or gossip to you, or gossip with you, okay? So be aware of that energy is also what I'm hearing. You guys could also find out that someone is pregnant, someone was hiding that they were pregnant, or someone got someone pregnant is what I'm hearing. Some of you could even be hiding the fact that you're pregnant, okay? 
So keep that in mind. It's not for all of you, obviously. Old thoughts. Release old thoughts is what we're, we have here. Stay persistent. with your op Stay optimistic even through um, the storm is what they're saying. Sunset joy. Pleasure and laughter. Pleasure and laughter. Eight. So you guys are needing to keep that energy around you. I'm hearing keep your creative idea secret. Like that seven of swords could be you also needing to stay on the low. Kind of be sneaky with your your projects and your um what you're working on during this time. Because the pregnant woman makes me think like she's pregnant with ideas. Keep it on the low. Gentle love, pale pink. Give yourself this loving. But we have 41, which breaks down to a five, which is change. Love yourself during this time. Make sure you're taking really good care of yourself during this time because I feel like there's a huge change. What do we have? Goldenrod. What is this? Stay committed. Stay committed. Even through the storm, stay committed to, to your purpose is what they're saying, okay? They're going to give you clear vision. Just stay focused. Stay clear. Stay focused. Stay committed. You guys need to work with your third eye chakra. Because they're, they're saying that what your two eyes can't see, your third can. Okay, so this may be that you need to take a step away from technology um, to really connect with nature, to connect with the divine, to connect with God, source, and Mother Gaia in order to see something clearly and to hear the spiritual guidance that's coming to you. This can be from ancestors and angels, okay? This is your spiritual team giving you guidance, possibly about finances, about home life, about your structure, giving you the truth of things, things that you can't see, things that are kind of hidden from you. Um, they're going to show it to you, okay? And some of you guys may also be cleansing your space. Um, for some of you, there could be like an energy that you need to cleanse out of your home, out of your apartment, out of your car. Um, this There could be stagnant energy that you guys are really needing to kind of get rid of okay let's see what's at the bottom we have regenerate community yeah like the sapphire here the sapphire is really important i feel like community work is going to be big for you guys soon and when i say community i mean within your family and your friends like you guys could end up doing um some healing work um i'm hearing shamans i don't know i just heard shamans you guys could be doing something in a different way that people have never seen before it's a lot of time being spent with your community, um, with your family soon. Okay, so once again, there's a lot happening for you guys, Virgos. I'm getting a lot of energy here. But do know that there's happier times ahead of you. Just have discernment about who's around you and what you share. And um, cleanse your space of any like toxic negative energies. Get rid of any belongings that hold like a certain memory that you need to let go of. Um, I'm just getting like, just clean your space, make your home comfy, um, connect with your animals if you have animals, and um, create in your space. Just make things feel good for you is what I'm hearing, and connect with community that you trust and that you love, all right? And once again, keep your projects on the low. Keep it on the low, okay? Let's see what else you guys need to know. Virgo, Holy Spirit. Oh, that's way too many. Can I have one at a time, please? What does the sign of Virgo need to know? Fluorite. Find peace within. That's beautiful. Fluorite is also, um, in my opinion, good for clearing and protection sometimes. And this kind of makes me think of the tower. So even when there's chaos around you, keep that peace within you. Like, you know, be like the um, lighthouse. When the storm is going, you know, happening in, in the ocean, right? The waves are big and they're crashing. Be the lighthouse that stands firm and tall, you know? You guys are the strength. I'm hearing the pillar. You guys are going to be the pillars of the family. Matriarch, patriarch of the family soon, okay? Shungite, look, detox your life. Another earth sign had this. So, yeah, you guys need to cleanse. You guys actually need to cleanse. Water, they're saying fresh air, ocean air. That's crazy. Like, when it rains, like, letting that fresh, like, air into your space... I don't know what that's about, like um, see, like salt and water scent. Some of you guys might actually feel called to um, create a spray that's like, sea, you know, has sea salt and water, like the smell of like fresh water and, and, and salt. 
um, and to cl like cleanse your space with that. I know that sounds strange. Letting some fresh air into your um, space, maybe even a diffuser using something like that or a purifier, air purifier. Anyways, that's coming through. Bring some flowers into your space, some plants into your space to purify the energy in your space. But we have loosen your grip, Amazonite. So you guys need to kind of like surrender. Allow this tower moment to happen because I do feel like it's something that's supposed to happen. It's it's like the huge detox. It's like when the storm comes and this we say, for example, you live somewhere like um California where they need they need, you know, water. They need, you know, nurturing. So the storm comes and even though it could be wild and a little crazy and chaotic, you know that it's needed. Okay, so this tower, this change is needed in order to push you into this new beginning, in order to get you to this place where you're feeling um, stable and surrounded by support, which you already are from the higher realms, but also you're going to feel the support in the, in, the, in the 3D as well. But I'm telling you guys, this tower moment is is not as bad as you may think it may be. It could be something that you really need to have in your life. So I want to clarify what this tower is for you guys. Seven of Swords. Oh my God, the Seven of Swords showing up twice. So most definitely, the tower, this tower moment is playing out because it's something you 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 can't see. Okay, like okay, they it may they may be even saying you're not supposed to see it. That's what the tower is about. It's about shock. You're not seeing something happening. Ten of Wands, burdens being released. So I just heard burdens being released, the lovers. So for some of you, it's about the love you have for yourself. It could be in regards to some type of communication about love. But in a way, I'm actually getting like the, the way you nurture yourself is also what I'm getting. Okay, the Six of Cups, for some of you, this could be someone trying to come back from the past. We did have like, be careful who, who's in your ear. This could be someone trying to like, weasel they just said maneuver weasel their way back into your life some type of energy to test you again so keep that in mind you guys that there could be someone trying to make their way back in the, from the past to communicate with you the magician yeah they're trying to manifest be aware of like protecting your energy online i set this to taurus you guys might want to take a step back from um from like showing your face online if you do show your face or at least like Make some of your pages like um private, but just for the meantime to cleanse your energy and protect your energy. Wear scarves, um, cover your neck, um, wear protective amulets. But you guys, I want to be real with you. Some of you, if this is only for a couple of you, if you've been feeling like someone's been sending you negative magic, like um, well, negative magic. Wow, if someone's been sending you magic, if you feel like someone's been doing something, if you've been feeling stuck, like you feel like it's something outside of your control. I feel that you are correct and you guys need to do a spiritual cleanse and you guys need to do some type of cleanse like a like a Olympia or like spiritual shower, spiritual bath, white bath. You guys need to do a cleanse of yourself and do a cleanse of your home because I do feel like there's someone who is um, jealous of you guys. Um, yeah, because you guys have a lot of options, a lot of opportunities coming your way. For some of you, this could be an ex or someone your ex is dealing with or someone who likes you but um either they can't have you or their person knows that they they, they like you okay but you have a, a archangel here coming through you have archangel Raphael coming through saying that i'm healing you and i'm helping you we have a hummingbird is really here for you guys you guys want to work with hummingbirds that's a message birds are something you really want to pay attention to that's the way your angels and guides are communicating with you but be aware of temptation um be aware of temptation and, and um alcohol Okay, be aware of alcohol. Do, don't take alcohol from anyone is what I'm hearing. Cover your drink when you're out and about is what they're saying. Be aware of that. Um, because someone's just coming back to try to tempt you, um, to lure you. And, and then for the other few of you, someone is actually trying to send you negative energy. So someone's sending something your way. So cleanse your energy and protect your energy. Shield yourself and um, work with Archangel Michael to cut the cords and to protect your energy. And you know what? Some people, they see your greatness before you can. That's what I just heard. And they don't like it. So don't worry. Things are going to work out in your favor. You just need to cleanse and protect your energy and don't share your dreams. Okay? Yeah, son, you have success coming. And it's like, it's crazy because I feel like somehow these negative people or energies um, sense it. All right? So 
a lot of you guys could be very powerful spiritually because I am getting like um, a spiritual authority where there's like people and energies that don't like that about you. So you guys are really needing to um, cleanse and protect your energy consistently and um, be very aware and discerning about the people you have around you. Yeah, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Eight of Cups. You guys are going to be walking away from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's on some Kill Bill-ish. Look at this. Yeah, you guys are going to be walking away. Think about Kill Bill for a second. Not to, It's not graphic like that, but I'm getting the vibe of, you know how like everybody wanted her gone and she made this comeback. So you guys are like Uma Thurman um, making this comeback. Like, yeah, I'm back. You thought you had me, you didn't. So wasn't she pregnant in that? That's kind of crazy. Well, not in the movie. Well, was she? That's kind of weird. So something about that movie is coming through that you guys may feel called to watch, but you know, cleanse your energy after you watch it because it's, um, you know, can be a little graphic. But yeah, you guys, I'm hearing that you will be redeemed for some, for some of you, this is past life stuff too. Like you're, you will be redeemed in this lifetime. That was very long, Virgo. Like, but you guys are going to be redeemed. Don't worry about these haters. You just cleanse your energy, protect your energy. And trust me that your guides are going to take care of this. Your angels are going to take care of this. But if you feel called to light a candle to, you know, to break, you know, and cut any cords or to remove any bad spirits, energies, or to um, undo something, then follow your heart on that, you know? So don't be afraid, though. I just feel like you guys are about to come into so much success that you have people, like, shook. Like, they, they're, <laughs> I just heard Big mad. Like, they want to, you know, they're trying to block your blessings, but they can't. You guys have got the four of wands here. They can't block your blessings. It's stabilized. Like, it's structured already. It's written in the stars. It's meant to be that way. So, you guys have this four swords one to show me. You guys need to rest more. Okay? Ask for the divine to show you who you can trust and who you can't trust. Like, ask them to, to reveal to you um, who, th who these people are, what you need to do. Okay? Because I do feel like your angels are talking to you big time. A lot of, like, spiritual communication coming through. Crown chakra, third eye chakra coming through for you guys, Virgo. So you guys want to protect your energy, protect your physical vessel, detox, lemon water, cucumber water, regularly, pray over it, purify, cleanse lemons in your home. Yeah, they're showing me chili peppers in the home too. That's symbolic. That's a whole nother um, thing that people do. You can look it up. But anyways, let's see what's going on. What do you guys need to know? Holy Spirit, the sign of Virgo. Something with film is really coming through you guys because look. I feel called to show you this, too. So, I'm going to show you, too. All right. What do we have here? So, we have, instead of searching for happiness, I create happiness. All right. So, you are your own happiness. What do we have? Up to this point, you may have aimlessly floated through life searching for happiness. You try Googling cat videos, binge drinking, what I tell you guys, occasional narcotics, strange sex, and even reality television. You try to find the answers by asking your teachers, religious influences, co-workers, family, and friends. Dude, you have been searching for thrills, not happiness. Happiness is not something you can find. It's only something you can create. Close your eyes and visualize how your life looks when you are truly happy. What step can you take today to move toward that vision? Okay, so get rid of the distractions, you guys. Okay, ask yourself what really makes you happy and go do that. We have I am the writer, director, producer, and star of the movie of my life. I take full responsibility for what scenes make the final cut and how each scene plays out. Bingo. That's why I kept getting that Quentin Tarantino, Kill Bill kind of vibe as well so what do we have you are living a movie you are writing and producing the story this world and everyone in it <laughs> hold on this world and everyone in it is your audience will people be excited to watch your gloriously slay <laughs> hold on will people be <laughs> why did they show that to me that's crazy hold on you guys they're showing me fiona and shrek they're showing me donkey and the dragon i don't know why Will people be excited to watch you gloriously slay the dragon at the summit of Mount Fuckery? Or will they be disappointed with the mundane and boring existence? Sitting on the couch with your hands down your pants while devouring a bucket of fried chicken does not change the world. And no one wants to see that nastiness. Your life is an epic quest of awesome adventures and exploration. 
strive to make it the most memorable movie possible. So make your life exciting for you, okay? Take a screenshot of that. But, you know, it's your story, meaning that you can direct it, edit it. You know, you, you can tell say who you want in, in it, who's going to make it, and who's not, okay? So you don't have to keep everyone in your life. You don't have to continuously do the same thing. You can do whatever makes you happy. There could be something actually with film for you guys. You Maybe you guys need to write, pay attention to films. Um, but be aware of the movies that you are watching because they all hold different energies. So cleanse your energy after you watch movies, especially if they're a bit intense. But you are you're, you are the star of your own show. You are the star of your own movie. So how will you how will your movie work, play out? Who are the characters in your movie? So that's the point of that. All right, get creative. Start creating something new. Create a new storyline for your movie. All right, go see a movie. Actually, something positive, something that's going to uplift you. Lost City. That's a good one. Go watch that. I just said that for another option. Well, not options. Zodiac sign. I keep saying that. Anyways, we're on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So I'm going to, I don't even know what to do. I'm so used to throwing up like numbers. So I'm just going to say Sagittarius. So I can remember that I did something weird with my hand to know the time stamp. Hmm. I just heard thinking ahead of time. Taking the road less traveled, Sagittarius. It's just got calm. It's just got really calm um, and focused. Six of Wands, Sagittarius. Woo! Look at that. Look at that victory. Coming out of the war, here you are victorious. Coming out of the battle, here you are victorious. The warrior who made it. Look at that. You made it, right? being seen five of pentacles some give more look at that eight of cups why is this giving me um fight club energy i don't know why these this card and these and this card together is making me think of fight club even this is making me think of Fight Club. I don't know. That movie could hold some type of importance for you guys. Um, hmm. You guys need to look up the scene where um, what's his name? Brad Pitt's character is saying, um, oh my God, saying to, is his name Edward? Anyways, he, he's saying to the guy, he said, the things you consume be end up owning you or something like that so it's something about consuming be aware of what you consume all right now that that could be he was talking more about products right the things we buy but this could also be like what you're putting in your body are you drinking are you smoking like what are you consuming what people are around you because you're consuming energy you know what are you taking in Okay, because I feel like this is a win. This is a, a victory that you're gonna that you have or you're gonna have. And they're saying that sometimes when the light is so bright, when someone's light is so bright, it attracts moths. So be aware of the people. Um, yeah, they're saying MC Hammer. Wow, you guys, they're saying MC Hammer and that whole entourage and how he lost so much. So be aware of the people who you have around you because just because people want to spend time with you don't mean that they have your best interest at heart, okay? So be aware of that. Be aware of what you consume, your habits, um, where you're, where, what are you spending money on? What are you giving your attention to, your attention to? What, they said intentions, okay? What are you giving your attention to? Um, who are you, you know, mingling with? That's a really big deal. What are you eating? What are you drinking? What are you watching? What are you entertaining? Where are you hanging out? Where, you know, where are you working? You guys need to be aware of all of that. Because I'm really getting that. Um, it. What do they say? You are who you spend time with. So, just be aware of that. I'm hearing the toxic crowd. Be aware of that. Be aware of, um, 
where you're spending most of your time, what you're focusing on too. This could be thoughts. Because think about in the movie, he was, you know, he was crazy. Like, um, I don't want to give it away because some people have, ne have never seen it. But the point is, like, be aware of your thoughts, okay? Five of Cups? Yeah, we have, like, this depression here. So some of you guys are going to be paying attention to your um, your habits, your code, the, the things that you're codependent on. All right, like the things that you, this is giving me PTSD a bit. I'm not going to lie, you guys, and I'm not saying this, um, I'm not throwing this around, but I'm getting like the, someone who's so victorious that so they came back from the war, they came back from the military, they're standing strong, everyone's happy to see them, they're proud of them, They've, they're accomplished. But when they get home, they're depressed, they're sad, they're self-soothing. Ah, that's what they want you guys to be aware of. What you? How are you self-soothing yourself? They're self-soothing and they're depressed because of the things that they experience. Like, yeah, I'm victorious, but look at what I've, I, what I've experienced, what I've overcome to get to the success. So I am getting the vibe of you guys um, maybe dealing with some like mental health things that you guys need to kind of like address head on. Like, you know what, I've been feeling sad or I've been feeling, you know, um, alone or I've been dealing with grief or I've been running. Maybe you guys are running from something you don't even realize it. Like, so subconsciously so you're running for something because you know, you're maybe you're in and out of relationships back to back, or maybe that you're always, you know, using some type of, you know, um, substance abuse, or maybe it's, I don't know, it could be anything, it could be overspending, overeating, um, sex addiction, drinking, um, drugs, it could be overeating, it could be, you know, overthinking, it could be, you know, anything. What are they saying? The seven deadly sins? I don't know, I just said that. So it's like, you guys are going to be confronting a lot of your shadow aspects, Sagittarius. That's what this is. And look, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is, wow, you guys have the Six of Pentacles. And this is about balance. This, she makes me think of like an old Hollywood actress. You know, like sitting there in all that luxury. It's like, I don't know why they just said, um, what is that movie? The Valley of the Dolls. I have not seen that movie in so long um, with Sharon Tate. But anyways, it's a it's an interesting movie. But anyways, it's like I refuse to allow myself to. I'm hearing go downhill. That's what I'm hearing. So a lot of you don't stay stuck in this downward spiral pull yourself up by your bootstraps and realize that you are this warrior okay it may have been a lot you guys may have been through a lot but look sometimes we have to feel it in order to heal it sometimes we need to address the things that are like that we're running from to 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 make to actually make them you know start to go away you have to address it address it you have to acknowledge it and and why it's there okay it's like oh my god they're they're saying the movie it isn't it isn't it that in that movie it that the clown shows up it it plays on their fears but when they're not afraid of it it holds no power or something like that that's the point it's like when you're not afraid it holds no power you have to address something i want to use fight club again but i don't want to give it away but it's like you have to face the truth. You have to, you know, face something. So no more avoidance, no more running. Uh, face what it is that you're running from. Face what it is you're self-soothing from. Face whatever the heck this is. And I'm, I'm even hearing that for some of you, you don't know what it is. You don't know why you're doing all of this. And that might take some deeper counseling. That might take some deeper reflection of self to say, you know, why am I doing this? Like, is it something from my childhood? Um, is something, is it something about myself that I'm like not paying attention to, but either way, you guys need to focus on this because the shadow side isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's just that, okay, these are parts of myself that kind of been hidden that I need to kind of get some love into and understand so that I'm not digging a deeper hole for myself or digging a hole for myself at all. All right. So it's kind of a grungy kind of feel, but it's nothing to be ashamed about and it's nothing to be worried about and it's nothing to be sad about this is uh, this is being human okay this is called soul experience living out the human the soul being in a human body 
living out the human experience. Don't worry about it, you guys. Okay, so either way, you're victorious. Let's see what's going on. Protecting love. Yeah, so protect your energy. So you guys need to spend time with animals. She's holding a kitten. You guys are protected. You guys are the warriors. Let's see. Teacher. Yeah, you guys could end up teaching your story and sharing what you guys have gone through, sharing, you know, your experiences. Yeah, some of you guys could have felt alone. Lost. Yeah. Some of you guys could have felt alone, lost. If some of you have dealt with any type of, like, um, loss of any kind, whether it's grief or maybe you felt abandoned or just alone in life, I feel like there, some way you guys are going to share this and it's going to inspire a lot of people. Like you're going to end up helping people who've also felt that way. Yeah, but you guys are going to be walking away from something. And it may, you know what? It may feel depressing. But you're going to do this so that you can have better. You're going to do this so that you can have that equal give and take. Because whatever this was, wasn't equal. Okay, you had a storm. Five of Cups. This is emotions. They're saying you actually need to have the storm of emotions. Look, there's rain. I'm hearing that song, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. You guys want to look up the lyrics to that? Okay, so look. It's okay to be in the storm. It's okay to feel the emotions. You have to feel that. They want you to get in touch with your emotions. Look at the wildness. Yeah, look at that wolf. They want you to get in touch with your emotions. They want you to feel that. They want you to feel it. I know this is crazy, but you guys are some strong warrior energy. You know, like, think of when, like, I don't want to say a twilight, a corny twilight scene, but I loved how huge those wolves were. It's like the wolf slowly creeping up after they thought they had killed it. You know that last movie? Was it the last twilight where they were all at war? Um, and the, the wolves were like, just i mean it was a full-on fight right it is giving me that vibe of like redemption like i you know i'm redeeming myself and um i'm a warrior i have my battle scars some of them you can see some of you can't some of them you can't but i'm here i earned my stripes um it's like war they're showing me war paint like on the face like some of you guys may have actually had a past life where you guys were like um you know, soldiers or warriors, but I'm getting like indigenous, like warriors, soldiers, and maybe even like shamans. So, and teachers. So you guys, like mentors of some type, this is amazing. You guys are undoing a lot, okay? You guys are undoing a lot. I'm seeing a spiral, like something unspiraling. Okay, you guys are unraveling something. And for some of you, this is like, generational curses past life things that you guys are like just un unraveling letting go of okay so go buy yourself a plant go buy, buy yourself a nice plant and a flower um yeah because they're saying plants and flowers and they're showing me that here in these cards bring them into your space do focus on the small things you guys focus on the small things tend to the small things in life that's going to bring you joy only um the only entertainment you guys should keep around you right now is comedy okay comedy i'm hearing eye of the tiger i know that's so corny but um um i'm hearing the katie Ver Katy perry version i've got the eye of the tiger or something because i am a champion and you're gonna hear me roar that's the six of wands you guys are the champion this wildness the you guys are connecting more with your animal instincts. Like, look, I'm resilient. I've been through hell and back, and I'm still here. I've lost. You know, I've I've felt alone. I've had to do a lot alone. I had to walk away from people and things. And, yes, sometimes it hurts when I think about this stuff, when I think about what's occurred. But guess what? It's only made me stronger. The moon, yeah. So it's connecting with your emotions. You guys have the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are be building and working on something. Your ancestors are helping you guys build and work on something, okay? So why do we have this Five of Pentacles here? What is this? The Fool. Yeah. Taking a leap of faith. You guys are leaving something behind. You guys are like, I'm taking my little bag. I'm, I'm leaving something behind because I deserve better. And Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're staying resilient. Yeah, you're deciding to have something better in life. You're realizing your worth. Some give more. You guys weren't receiving equally with the Six of Pentacles. You guys weren't receiving equally you you guys outgrew something or someone or, or, or some people 
you guys outgrew something because it was time for you to be the teacher, okay? The chariot, you guys are moving towards success. Even in the storm, you guys are moving towards success. It's like that chariot in the midnight, like you see these horses just running in the dark. It's kind of cool and edgy, but um, but it's like I'm seeing like this chariot in the storm and the horses are running. It's like not even the storm could stop my success. Like I'm hearing, um, oh, Duffy, rain on my parade. You're not gonna, like, you're not gonna rain on my parade. Like, huh, trust and believe I'm gonna keep moving forward passionately towards my dreams. So you guys are needing to stay focused on what it is you want and that you desire. Even through the storm, you keep moving towards your success. Keep that in mind. Even through the storm, you keep moving towards your success. Even when you are your own storm, even when you feel sad and depressed and feel like giving up, you move towards your success. You do something for you. Do something to shift your energy. Put on some comedy. You know, laugh. Watch your favorite movie. Watch something that's going to make you laugh. Listen to funny podcasts. You know, listen to motivational podcasts. You need to re reprogram yourself, you guys. Reprogram yourself to um to to embrace a more positive, up uplifting energy. Okay, spend time in nature. You guys need to reset out in nature. If you guys can do that, that would be really helpful. You need to reset. They're specifically saying reset yourself out in nature. Um, it's time to connect with your animal instincts. Okay, what else? Give me one card. One card, please. One card. One card, please. Sagittarius. Come on. One, please. There we go. That's that's it. Find a way to forgive. So you guys may need to be f forgiving, okay? Now, forgiveness is not for anyone but you, okay? It's for you to let go of whatever this is, whatever's happened in the past. Even if it's forgiveness of yourself. Rota Knight connects with the heart chakra. I feel like you guys are going to be working on that. Look. Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So you guys need to focus on you at this time. The ocean is somewhere that you guys really need to spend time near. Um, somewhere where there's a lot of trees. I'm also hearing, of course, safely. Let people know where you are. Um, but yeah, find a way to forgive. Focus on healing your heart chakra. And make sure that you're taking time for yourself. So this is, you guys need to go have like a spa day. I say that all the time. Go get a facial. Create this for yourself if you can, okay? Do this at home if, if, you, if you can't go to the spa. But just do something for you. And you have to sometimes get out of these, this way of thinking. Sometimes we have to be the ones to pull ourselves out of this sadness, this, this um, depression. The point is, it, it's good to feel it. You want it to come up to feel it, but you don't want to stay stuck in it. That's the difference. It's time to transform. Another another um, zodiac sign had that. Malachite. Okay, so it's time to move forward to have better for yourself. Let me see what else you guess have real quick. Goddess, Kwani, and Mercy. That's that compassion. That's that forgiveness. You guys have Lotus Pink. Um, Lotus Pollen. So I just heard Lotus Pollen. You guys might feel called to work with, um, oh, working with foods to raise your frequency is what they're saying. Different foods. So you guys want to work with the goddess Kuan Yin and compassion, mercy, miracles, forgiveness. Okay. What do we have? Arignic. Energy of the ancients. Can't make this up. You guys have ancient beings connecting with you. Like warrior beings. You know, like um, indigenous like shamans and warriors communicating with you. Some of you guys have animal totems of like a lion, of wolves, horses. Chalkboard. We have teacher and chalkboard. Some of you guys are needing to teach something or learn something. Some of you guys could be teachers. Develop your destiny, okay? Yes, it's time to move towards your destiny is what they're saying. There's an um, a, a ancestor that's teaching you stuff. There's an ancestor. They could have been a teacher, but they're teaching you. There's an actual ancestor of yours that's coming to teach you something right now. We have blush, cheerful love. So they want you to embrace this happiness. They want you to feel loved. They want you to know that you are loved. So now this is turned into an ancestor reading for you guys, Sagittarians. Spinach, toughen your spirit. So this teacher, this mentor, this guide is, is helping you to be strong and wild and free. They want you to embrace your, your freeness. Okay? They want you to embrace your wildness, your creativity. They're saying you will be victorious. You will keep your victory. But first, there are some things that you need to process, face, address, and heal and, and and then, like, transmute that energy. Transmute it into something more positive and uplifting. Okay? So, you guys have, like, some type of ancient ancestors trying to connect with you. And animal guides connecting with you. That are all about being strong and resilient. 
and overcoming obstacles, overcoming sadness and hurdles, connecting with nature. Yeah, this is powerful, you guys. Okay. Um, I just heard radiance, radiance. They want to um, connect with you more. So make sure that you guys are keeping, you know, having time of silence and spending time in nature to connect with these ancestors, these spirit guides, because they are really powerful. They're coming through your reading and they're wanting to communicate with you. They're saying they see you, they see you as a child, see you as a youthful energy, and they're wanting to give you knowledge and wisdom on how to move forward. Okay. So let go of lack mentality is what they're saying, because you're always going to have enough. You need to spend more time out in the sun, you guys. They're saying you guys aren't getting enough sunlight. Spend more time out in the sun meditating and praying, okay? So let's see what else you guys need to know real quick. Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, what does Sagittarius need to know? That's it. I'm right there. What does it say? I refuse to be a poopy pants crybaby. I control my flows, okay? I control my flows. What does it say? Trudging through life as part of the negative goon squad trudging through life as part of the negative goon squad will never reap a positive outcome any seed you plant will grow if you plant negativity you'll sprout negativity if you plant positive vibes you'll sprout positive vines you know when you step in dog poo without realizing it and then you smell it and immediately think it's some stinky bastard around you later you get home and realize it was you the whole time it's easy to run around blaming the world for everything that stinks until you finally figure out it's just you. Instead of soiling your pants, confront your attitude and mindset. Plant a forest of positivity and build your dream house in it. So meaning shift your thinking, shift your stinking thinking. Okay, so you want to make it, you want to shift your mindset. You guys screenshot this. You want to shift your mindset to a positive mindset. Okay, so... It's got to happen. It's got to happen. You have to be the one to pull yourself out of uh, out of this way of, of being and thinking. Okay, Sag is. So it's about taking power of your life, reprogramming yourself. That's what's happening. All right. So let's move on to Aries. Aries. What's going on, Aries? I'm hearing the John Mayer song, Gravity. Gravity. Stay the hell away from me. I can't remember the words. Okay. So, uh-oh, uh I just said Sagittarius. I just did Sagittarius. Maybe you guys have a message in Sagittarius. Okay, Aries, what do you guys need to know? Aries, 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 Holy Spirit. What is Aries, the zodiac sign of Aries, need to know? God, Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most pure soul, love, and light. Lucy, I'll be there in a second, honey. Go play with your brothers. <laughs> My girl dog, she came over like, why are you still in there? Let's see, Aries, what you guys need to know. Taking your sweet time. Sweet time, go listen to the song Sweet Time. Who's that by? Um, Ravina. She said, I start, she said, I started meditating. Stop, me she said, I think she said, stop, I stopped medicating, start meditating something. I don't know, can't remember the lyrics. She said, I'm taking advice from the moon. Mm-hmm. This is more like creating a sacred space. I'm seeing like a meditation room. Like someone who has like, I mean like a nice aesthetic. But they're actually using it. Like they're meditating, they're praying. Um, They're like in this vibe. Go listen to that song. Ace of Cups, yeah, they're nurturing themselves. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I feel this one. I feel this one. This is giving me um, Speak by Janae Aieko. Yeah, they're showing me, they even show me like Ravina. I don't even know that music video, but they they even show me her like in a, in a sacred space. And they're showing me um, Janae Aieko from that music video. I mean, like a sacred space. So this is making me think of like your home, your ritual, your... Um, your time alone okay like when you nurture yourself so you guys have the higher font standing up like face up in the deck i feel like that's for you this is your connection to spirit you guys need to focus on your um your rituals make it um make your your devotion your meditation and prayer a ritual look i just said that high priestess this is scary you guys are connecting with divine beings okay you guys are connecting with 
Look, you have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Yes, that's the angel. That's Archangel Raphael for me. So look, you guys are connecting with higher realms, Aries, okay? This is higher realms, higher communication. These are your ancestors. These are the archangels, okay? Your spirit guides, guardian angels for your highest good only. This is source. This is God trying to communicate with you. For some of you, it could even be animal guides. But for sure, an archangel is here. All right. And they're trying to level you up and give you some type of wisdom when it comes to, you know, your spirituality. So for a lot of you, this will be um, like kind of like a an upgrade when it comes to your dedication and devotion to connecting with the divine and, and source and higher dimensions. So because of this, this shift inwardly this open communication, you're going to be able to hear things much better. You're going to be able to see things. You're going to have an understanding of things that maybe others don't have an understanding of. You're going to know things probably before they even happen. So your gifts are going to become more um, intensified because you've taken this time to make your space sacred. Okay, you've been spending time in this sacred space and devotion and silence listening if you haven't done this yet you need to get to it because the way these angels the way these spirit guides are hovering around you like they have something to share look how they're hovering around her i mean I, these two cards next to each other it's perfect it's like they're hovering around her she's over here smoking and, and connecting and she's got her little journal and they're hovering around her like look i think she can hear us that's what i'm getting some guys could be mediums or you can be tapping into some like really strong psychic abilities because it's like all these angels and ancestors and spirit guides are around you. Like, I think she or he can hear us. I think they can hear us, you know? And you have temperance here, which is about balance and patience and, and equality, in my opinion. This is also an alchemy kind of vibe, in my opinion, when I see temperance. So these angels that's what they just said these angels are helping you to transmute energy they're helping you to see things from a different perspective there's like higher realms beings all over this i just heard the council of light so you guys have a lot of high help in higher realms so you know how they how people say i have help in high places well you guys actually do have help in high places aries what's happening right now is you're needing to have patience as something is taking its sweet time okay Something is taking its sweet time, but they want you to know that what's happening for you it has a divine hand all over it, okay? What's going to be occurring for you has God and, it, and the Holy Spirit and its angels all over it. But it's going to happen only in divine timing. So you're going to have to be patient and just focus on the things that are in front of you at this time, okay? These same cards are coming up. Let me shuffle this again. But the teacher wanted to come out. Maybe I should have left that card out because the high priestess can be seen as a teacher. Meaning that they're preparing you because you may have something to teach. Some of you guys are earth angels, star seeds. So you guys have something to share with the world is what I'm saying. At some point soon, you could be channeling, receiving downloaded messages, communicating with um, past on loved ones or angels, archangels, spirit guides. But anyways, let's see. You guys have success coming. Oh my goodness. I'm not shocked. Now, with this type of success that we have here isn't an overnight. It's falling under the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that is going to take some time. It takes time to be the Emperor or the Empress. Okay, but you need to have faith. Even when you can't see how it's going to happen or you're not seeing it happen, you need to have faith that the Divine has your back. You are loved. They're saying you, you need to know that you are so loved by God and that you're not alone. You are not alone. They're actually playing the Michael Jackson song. You are not alone. I am here with you. Though we're far apart, you're always in my heart. Rise. Rise up high. Rise to the, to the occasion. That's what they say. Will you rise to the occasion? Um, they're showing me like a spirit rising up high. You have help in hidden, real, hidden realms. This could be passed on loved ones. Um, I just heard passed on pets. So you, Some of you guys are being visited and protected by passed on pets. Um, family members. And archangels. So what else do we have here? 
the shaman, you guys, stop. The shaman is falling under the high priestess. You guys are going to be blessed with some type of gift of healing, some type of gift of connecting with nature and understanding what nature wants. You guys may feel called to visit, like, the mountains, visit some type of, like, um, I don't know, I'm getting, like, maybe some type of um, vortex, some, some, some place where it's sacred, like, somewhere where there's, like, maybe a mountains, lakes, um, of course, don't do this alone. You want to make sure you're going with tr someone who's trustworthy. Um, yeah. You want to make sure that you are praying and having discernment over any, like, choice you have to make, options, opportunities, people around you. It's very important that you tune in. Okay? It's very important that you tune in. I'm just really getting you guys picking up on a lot of things. It's like that quiet observative psychic energy like i'm picking up on everything i'm just not saying anything okay this is powerful i'm hearing give yourself that love give yourself that time give yourself that care we have love at the bottom of the deck yeah so this is beautiful you guys are becoming healers becoming um shaman sages seers psychics um mediums uh healers of some some sort some type let's see i just heard like brujas or witches it's just up to you how you see yourself we have impressions memories yeah this is going to make a lasting memory the success here is going to be really big for you like this is a big game changer in your life but it's going to take time new age evolution yeah it's going to take time for this to happen but have faith and believe that it will happen for you be open to receiving this. I'm hearing my cup runneth over. Psalms 23. You guys want to read that over and over. Find the humor in life. Dark apricot. That's a four. So you guys need to laugh more. Your ancestors and spirit guys want to see you laugh more. They're laughing with you. Okay. Yes, the Pia is here. I mean, they want you to let go of old thoughts. They want you to believe, um, believe in new ways of being, new ways of thinking. Let go of limiting beliefs. What do we have? Azura, angelic communication. I cannot make this up. You guys have angelic communication, okay? You guys have so much love being sent your way. A lot of healing, a lot of messages, a lot of divine wisdom from higher beings. Like stuff that no, people wouldn't know. Like you're receiving channels, channel messages, downloads from past on beings helping you. They're going to help you make a decision. With the Lapis Lazuli here, which I connect to royalty. I connect with the ancient Egyptians. It's very powerful for me. Um, third eye, I'm telling you. You guys are on point here. Um, this is like spiritual authority that you guys are, are tapping into. Like some type of higher leveling, um, ranking, killing. We have Sunstone. Take pleasure in all the things you do. So yeah, do things from a pure heart. Do things out of love, okay? Only do what you love. Only do things from a pure heart. We have Azerite at the bottom. Get laser focused on the things that you want to manifest and bring into your life. Because you have a lot of angels surrounding you right now. You have a lot of help surrounding you right now. And they're trying to help you. So get clear about what it is you want. And let go of old thoughts of yourself. Old, old things, old memories, old belief systems. Let it go. Have faith and believe that you will be successful. That you are on the rise. You are evolving. Okay? Laugh at things. Go put on something funny to shift your frequency. Um, every now and then, you know, and connect with nature, connect with herbs, connect with plants, connect with, you know, animals. Most importantly, connect with yourself and connect with God and the divine. Listen more. Listen so that you can hear these an these angels communicating with you, okay? So crown chakra, third eye chakra, I'm just, I'm hearing on point as well as the root chakra. So this is beautiful. This is really um. This one is deep, okay? This one's deep. Your ascension, this, that's what I say. Your, your ascension is deep. Your ascension is here, okay? So what's happening for you guys in life right now is like an ascension process. This is deep, Aries. Like this one, spiritual empathy wants to come out. Like, come on. You guys are doing some big things here. You guys are, look, but they're saying don't forget to rest every now and then. But you guys are doing some huge things here. And some of you, you may not even be able to see. It's like your higher self is doing a lot of work, learning a lot of things, taking note of things. For some of you, they could be um, pushing you to stay focused if you are in school or if you're wanting to go to school. That could be a sign for you. Okay, stay focused, finish strong. All right. 
some of you guys need to pick up a new skill, a new hobby as well, is what I'm hearing with the High Priestess energy. Could be time to step up and be the teacher of something. Let's see. What do you guys need to know? Holy Spirit, what does Aries need to know for their highest good? Can I have one card at a time, please? One card. One card only. That's funny you have that animal because, look, you have gentleness underneath here. Be gentle with yourself, okay? With that rest, you guys need to rest and be gentle. This makes me think of, like, a nursery. You guys need to take care of yourselves properly, like, as if you were a baby. Allow things to play out for you naturally. Law of attraction. You guys may feel called to learn about the law of attraction. You don't have to chase everything. Allow it to play out for you. What do we have here? I am an animal of the earth, and I deserve to be free. This is shaman energy. Connecting with animal guides, animal totems, animal omens divination via animals and nature what do we have why as humans do we lock ourselves in cubicle cages and rage our energy on nonsense that in no way contributes to our happiness and freedom no other species on species on earth is worried about a facebook status an urgent email from a boss or that sleazy dress that becky wore to the company dinner release your judgments rediscover your relationship with your mama earth Mm, and run like a fucking antelope out of control so that's that wild energy of um i'm hearing like this nature animal like free freeness okay you guys are needing to do that go spend time in nature and reconnect because you are very much a part of nature strong shaman energy connecting with the animals being able to understand them decode what they're saying understanding their language when you try to understand them they try to understand you that's what i just heard okay so that's what i have for you guys aries i hope it was able to help but we're moving on to leo hi leo hearing music for you guys already leo melody harmony they're showing me Little Mermaid, um, her daughter, Melody, <laughs> um, singing. Using your, your throat chakra, you guys need to speak up in an uplifting way. Listen and also speak up. No one to speak and no one to listen. That's the key here. No one to speak, no one to listen. Holy Spirit, what does Leo need to know for their highest good only? Holy Spirit, please use the divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light. What does Leo need to know? We have the Ace of Cups. This just came out for someone else. Mm, seven of pentacles okay time invested is what i'm hearing you reap what you sow you guys want to read the um psalms 23 is what i'm hearing as well the hangman okay what else do we have the emperor oh wow all right don't stop that's what just heard do not give up just because something may take time Do not give up just because something is taking time. Do not throw the baby away with the bath water. That's what I'm hearing. Like, do not put all your eggs into one basket. Do not quit. Look at your options. Do not quit. Even when there's a fork in the road or there's a pause or when you feel stuck, things are happening for a reason, okay? Okay. So know that the plant, the seeds you planted, the intentions you planted, whatever you put your energy into will not go to waste, okay? Even if you don't see how it's going to work out or how it's going to play out, it's not going to go to waste, okay? So the hangman is temporary, all right? And then you have the emperor, which is leadership, power, um, entrepreneur. This is a, a dad. This is a father energy. This is masculinity. This is, you know, take action and be the leader kind of energy that you guys are stepping into. So that's what I'm getting. Like, don't give up. You know, yes, it, it may take time. Look at the, the seeds you've planted. Look at your investments, your work. And be thankful. Be grateful. And during this hangman, this hangman stage, this period of time, just focus on breathing. Focus on things you can take care of, like meditation and relaxation and cooking more at home. Yes, so they just said cooking more from home. Leo, you guys also have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Wow, which is Archangel Raphael healing. Um, he's coming up like really strong in this reading. So the thing is, in order to have success, sometimes you have to fail. In fact, some people believe fail failure comes right along with success. Like 
some things may not work out the way you want them to, or they may not work out um, in the timing that you want them to, but trust and believe that things are going to work out when they're meant to. Things are going to play out when they're meant to, but I'm just getting my cup runneth over. Like things are working for me. Even during this break or pause, it's still preparing you for something greater. So you guys are focusing on um, balance and knowing knowing that you are worthy, not giving up. That's what I'm hearing. Eagle, fly high. See things from a higher perspective. All right. So you have the eagle here with the ace of cups. You have guides watching over you. Yep, trust the hummingbird. Trust and believe that all is well. Your hard work won't go unnoticed. Roots. Lay the roots. That's the seven of pentacles. Lay the seeds because it could grow into a huge, beautiful tree. So lay the seeds. It may take time. You may not see any growth, but trust and believe that things are going to happen when they're supposed to happen. What's happening here? <laughs> Change. Yeah, it's like preparing you to step more into a leadership position. It, they're, it's like your guides and angels are preparing you for I'm hearing more maturity like they're they're preparing you for a different level up is what I'm hearing the eagle is all about seeing things from a higher perspective trust the hummingbird if you're silent enough if you're patient enough you, the, a hummingbird might come close to you roots sowing those seeds seven of pentacles energy sowing the seeds so that something beautiful and powerful can occur and I feel like that powerful energy that's coming through is also how do I say this it's also part of your legacy something about being a part of your legacy they just cut me off and said something about your legacy you guys are creating a legacy with the eagle eagle is royalty the emperor is royalty the roots Seven of Pentacles. This is a slow build. You guys are creating a legacy. I just heard an empire. That's amazing. It's about alchemy. It's about transmutation. Things you can't control. Let go of it. Only alter the things that you know you can control. It's like why fight against something? I'm hearing work smarter, not harder. Strategy. I don't know why I just got that, but strategy. Archangel, invoke the guardians. Yep. Invoke the guardians. They want to help you. Invoke the guardians, you guys. Invoke the guardians. Oh, wow. Like, they're going to help you see things from a much bigger, um, bigger perspective. Like, eagle, eagle eyes. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to show you something from a totally different view. I'm here. I'm going to show you what you could be. Look. Jasper, follow the leader. You are the leader, the emperor. So trust and believe that you have everything it takes within you. Embrace the light. Roots. Yeah, it's like things will see the light. Put your work out there, like, of course, safely, you know. But my thing is, like, be seen, be heard. Because I'm getting that your work is something that could expand over years. I hope this makes sense. Like, for example, when someone, when you have a celebrity or an artist that passes away, yet their art is still doing good, their art is still making money, um, people are still talking about them. It's that kind of energy where it's like, wow, they've been going, you know, they live so much long. I think of Betty White, right? Betty White, she's worked for how many, she's been around for how long? She's been in the entertainment industry how long? continue going all the way up into her passing like she's always remembered she's always going to be remembered so even if she hadn't worked that long she still would have been remembered so the point is leaving behind some type of art you know skill talent craft whatever it is projects behind where people can say wow that person they really did you know they did their thing whatever this thing may be for you so i'm getting that you guys are very powerful leo but Leo does shine bright. So Firefly, this says illumination. Yeah. Be seen, you know, be seen in a healthy way. 
be seen. Bring your dreams to life with the onk here, the yellow onk. Give life. Give life to the light. Like, really work with lighter energies. Lighter, like, like I'm hearing positivity, laughter, peace. Don't, don't like, focus on heavy energies during this time. You want to, like, spend time in nature, laughter, comedy, um, joy, things that feel good, feel good movies, connecting with guardian angels, archangels is what I'm hearing. Wearing colors that are lighter in energy. Look, Neptune, voice your muse. Yeah, you guys need to focus on some type of skill, craft, idea. You need to get into it now because this could be very um, powerful. Like this could, I'm telling you, leadership, the emperor, the success, Leo. This is success, Leo. Like this is amazing. Follow your dreams. Okay, get back into balance. So focus on balance. Focus on balance and ignite your passion, Garnet. Get out of your comfort zone, but also know when to rest. Yeah, so ignite your passion. Bring light into every situation of your life and get back into balance. Don't let people throw you off of your, your balance because I just feel like there's so much success and, and um, good stuff coming your way. Prepare a table. Wait, wait, what is that? He prepared the table before me in the, in the what? You guys, will go look up Psalm 23. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Mm. So don't worry about who's saying what or who's sending you, you know, negative energy or who's hating. Don't worry about that because what you guys have is success coming. I exercise and expand my happiness muscle to beastly levels every day. Okay. So you guys, I'm telling you, you're going to be focusing on your happiness. We have, it's easy to feel like happiness is elusive. You feel incredible and confident one day and then the, then unimportant, unattractive, and depressed the next. Before you know it, you end up slapping a bottle of wine, a tub of ice cream to help numb the gloom. But just as people transition from unhealthy and overweight to healthy and fit, you can f you can exercise your happiness muscle and build a life of smiles. With the tiniest gratitude, mm, with the tiniest practices of gratitude and mindfulness, a focus on what truly lights you up, you can turn yourself into Hulk Hogan of happiness. The army of sadness cannot break down your fortress if you are kicking their ass every day. So you have all this light here and they're saying do what truly lights you up. Focus on what truly lights you up. You are the leader. So you're only following yourself. Don't worry about what everyone else says. You are the leader. Okay? Invoke the guardians. Invoke those archangels so they can help you. I want you guys to take a screenshot of this. Because you have a lot of angelic support here. Let me move this out of the way. You guys have a lot of angelic support. So just focus on your strength. Focus on what it is you want to accomplish or bring into the world, what you want to create. But live your life the way you want it, okay? I'm hearing Gwen Stefani, or is it no doubt? It's my life. Don't you forget? Yeah, because it's my life, okay? Wow, this is beautiful. Leadership. Seeing this from a higher perspective. Angelic archangel guidance and help this is powerful this one's powerful you guys leadership Woo. be grateful you guys need to start um celebrating like being gratitude now because what's coming is is amazing for you guys okay Let's see thank you guys we're moving on to cancer All right, Cancer, what do you guys need to know? Whoa, the star, six of swords, moving out of hard times into hope, faith. Ah, look at the way she's holding on to her cat, right? She's moving into better times, all right? So don't worry, Cancer. If you guys have been worried about something, if you guys have been going through something, don't worry about it. I'm also hearing if you guys have been worried about an animal, um, one of your pets, don't worry about it. They're fine. They're protected. There's some type of star being that's watch or, watching over some of you. Some of you guys may be connected to star seed energy. Connect with music. Make sure you guys are playing high frequency music is what I'm hearing. Make sure you're playing high frequency music in your home, especially if you have pets. Make sure that you all are listening to high frequency music. Okay, I just heard sound bowls, sound frequency, tuning forks. Okay. 
Page of Pentacles. All right. I'm hearing you win some, you lose some. Okay. It's it's crazy how you have some give more here, but I'm hearing you win some and you lose some. But there's hope, okay? There's hope here. They're saying don't worry about what's gone. Don't worry about what's happened in the past. You just stay hopeful and you look towards, you know, the present moment. And you stay focused towards what's to come, okay? They're saying don't 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 be in the past, but don't be in the future. Be right here in the present moment because your present moment creates your future. We have Ace of Swords, clarity coming to you, communication coming through very soon. A new project, a new opportunity will be granted to you. Um, this could be an opportunity to make more money. This could be an opportunity. This could be a job offer, you guys. This could be an internship. This could be some type of way where you could end up making some type of money, okay? Um, that Which will be beautiful, especially if you guys have been worried about your finances, if you've been, you know, Living in a lack mentality, you guys may feel called to read the book, um, Your Money Making Badass by Jen Snero. I think that's her name. She has two books. I mention it all the time. Um, that's just not, you know, just a little extra. But what I'm saying is you guys need to realize that money is energy, okay? Money is energy. So you guys want to look up and learn about law of attraction and money is what I'm hearing. Law of attraction and money. But you guys are healing the way you see money, healing the way you... Um, you handle money i'm also hearing healing the way you see this world because i just heard someone say the matrix yeah so healing the way you see this world live it from a different perspective okay so you're here you're so being living in a human body how can i decide to have a unique experience here how can i do things my way I, you know i'm hearing do things your way okay i'm also hearing fleetwood mac you can go your own way like yeah go your own way Speak your truth. You guys are throat chakra. Speak your truth. Focus on working with um, sound frequencies to help you shift energy is what I'm hearing, okay? You guys may feel called to speak up for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Synchronicity is coming out of nowhere for you. Along your path, you guys could be driving or walking somewhere and you guys could see different synchronicities, but... Pay attention to the signs you see out in nature because that's like your guides helping you. Ego, higher perspective. This just showed up for um, Leo. And what's crazy is that the ego, for me, I connect to the higher realms. And as a messenger from the higher realms, and you have the star card here, which I see as a higher realm being. So some type of connection there. We have night vision. Yeah, what's hidden. Okay. What's hidden? That's what I'm hearing. Hold on. Let's see what else. Intuition. Ah, following your intuition so that you can move past what's hidden. Okay, so yeah, night vision goggles. That's what they just said. Not vi night vision goggles. Like, so what you usually can't see, you're going to be able to see with your intuition. The veil is being lifted. Okay. Let's see. So your intuition is going to help you. Follow your intuition. There could be like something that you feel called to. To do, it could be a job that you want to, you know, you want to apply for, but say you know that they're looking for, you know, certain, you know, someone who has a certain um, background in something and maybe you don't have that background or maybe you don't have that training, but yet you still feel called to send your application. Maybe you still feel called to, you know, to um, try. And that could be a sign in itself that you're supposed to just get yourself out there. And for some of you, you could be that one random person where it works out for you. Like, whoa, like I didn't, I wasn't qualified for, for this, but it worked out for me. That's what I just heard. Look, you guys are the star. You have the star here twice. Star, Aquarius energy. This is shining. I just heard shine bright like a diamond. Wow, yeah. So this is hope, okay? This is hope. This is faith. This is healing. It's unique energy. It's kind of magical. It's creative. Um, when I think of Aquarius, I think of something that's very unique, something, um, something that's, I, I'm hearing versatile, um, is it worldly? Like some, someone who has knowledge in different areas knows about different things. The starry card for me is like expansive. So you guys are expanding. You guys are overcoming limiting ways of living and beliefs. Um, so, but you guys are first going through this purging process of, 
You know, I'm hearing like, okay, I've chosen to live this way, but yet you have like different emotions that start to rise once you decide to live this certain type of way. And it's because they need to be purged. It's emotions, feelings, energy need to be purged so you can truly step into your power. So follow your intuition. It's going to guide you the right way. It's your inner compass is what they're saying. What about cancer? What does cancer need to know? Jade, act now. Okay. So, yeah, they want you to move out of hard times. Move out of hard times. Six of Swords talks about, like, you know, coming out of coming out of stormy waters, unclear territory. They want you to come out of that. They want you to get clarity. Lotus, Pink, Goddess, Kuan Yin, and Mercy. So, you guys may feel called to work with Kuan Yin, which is a very high um, vibrational frequency. Uh, well, feminine energy, goddess energy. Mercy, miracles, compassion, forgiveness. Enlightenment, because the lotus represents enlightenment. Crown chakra. There's a, a chakra that's above the crown chakra. Is it, what is it, something star? You guys want to work with the, the, the chakra that's above the crown chakra. I believe it's white. That's very important. That means that spiritually, you guys are going to be tapping into higher frequencies. This five of pentacles is not going to hold any, like you're not going to have space for this. So you guys, the last like step before you can really tap into some really strong energy i mean spiritually speaking it's to let go of lack of mentality to let let go of the fear of being alone let go of feeling abandoned okay let go of fear you all you will always be taken care of you always have more than enough pale pink you guys have all this pink out here what is this gentle love give yourself that gentle love bring some nice pink flowers into your space even if you are a masculine energy follow your intuition i'm telling you your intuition isn't going to steer you wrong what do we have at the bottom grapefruit generous energy some of you guys could be um spending time um i don't know why like at maybe helping at an animal shelter helping at a um some type of shelter for humans or animals helping um you know people who, who need guidance people who need help you guys could be um donating or spending time helping in some type of way that's what i just heard that might help to to get you see something differently this may help maybe there's something you're supposed to do to shift the energy or shift the um the balance smoky quartz let it go there's something you guys need to let go with the five of pentacles here Aquamarine, go with the flow. So let, let it go and then go with the flow. Which I connect with water. So go with the present moment. Let go of what doesn't serve you and just go with the present moment. What do we have? Crystal phrase, allow yourself to receive. So be receptive. That's that, that's that, that heart chakra. That's that feminine energy. You need to be open to being receptive. Be willing to be open is what I'm hearing. Okay, be willing to be open. Allow yourself to be open. I want to see what this Five of Pentacles is about in my vision. Seven of Pentacles. Fool. So it's like someone saying, well, I'm not, I don't think they understand how much work I put into a situation. Like I put in so much work into the situation. And now some of you guys are feeling like now you have to leave something behind. Because you put so much work into it. Six of Swords, yeah. So you guys are definitely like walking away from um, someone or something in order to, to have better for yourself, okay? So you guys are following, you know, the light. You're following this, this North Star, following your purpose. You keep doing that. Follow your purpose. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Just make sure there's always equal give and take in your relationships, you guys. That's a big message for you guys right now. Like, make sure that you're in balance. Um, make sure that, you know, people are in balance with you. Make sure that no one's draining your energy. This is all about being fair is what I'm hearing. Being fair to yourself, being fair to others. You teach people how to um, treat you. That's what I just heard. You teach you teach people how to re um, treat you by how you treat yourself. Something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, you deserve respect. You deserve acknowledgement. And um, I'm, I'm also hearing that you guys may be feeling like really um, beautiful during this time. Like, especially after this shift, like you guys could end up glowing because you're free from something is what I'm hearing. And the raven could be symbolic for you guys. All right, let's see what you guys need to know. What does Cancer need to know, Holy Spirit? Hmm. 
My financial status does not dictate my happiness. Money makes me more of who I am. And I am an amazing person. Okay, so overcoming any difficulties or limited unbeliefs there. Money is not the fountain of eternal happiness. Money only makes you more of who you are. If you are an asshole who loves to play, who loves to slay strip clubs, rail cocaine, and participate in a life of meaningless hoo-ha, money only allows you to do this on a larger scale. If you are a big-hearted philanthropist who loves to help the well-being of others, money allows you to help more people in bigger ways. You are not a slave to God of money. You are the God of money. Do you hear that? You are not a slave to God money. You are the God of money. Use it to build your kingdom of happiness and purpose. And your kingdom shall be infinitely wealthy. Okay, so follow your heart. Have integrity and dignity. Know that the money is going to call. I'm hearing call to you. Wow, the money is going to come to you. I'm hearing money bag, money bag by Cardi B. Yeah, don't worry about stuff like that. That's going to work out for you. You just need to focus on your own spiritual hygiene. Cleansing your energy, protecting your energy, and nurturing yourself, resting. Clear that mind of yours, okay, and rest. That's what I have for you guys. We are moving on to Scorpio, you guys. Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm feeling playful, Scorpio. Sur surge of energy, Scorpio. Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light. What does the zodiac sign of Scorpio need to know? Please give me clarity, guidance. I just heard open communication, open communication. Portals, links, open communication. Crown chakra, they're showing me a vision of someone sitting. Whoa, they just said standing and sitting. Whoa, okay, that's strange. Mm, there's a card from my angel, ans angel answers deck. Where there's someone sitting down. And I think that card says trust. And it's a man sitting down. And there's like uh, layers of three people. It's him sitting. And then there's like a spirit behind him. And a, another huge spirit behind that. So it's like you're being watched over. Like you have you have guides all around you. So I just heard you have spirits hovering over you. Watching over you. At your neck, I just got shivers up and down my neck. Some of you guys may feel air, um, or, or, or like by your neck, the back of your neck, your shoulders, and even your legs. That's like a spirit. That's a, a visitation. You guys might be receiving visitation, Scorpio. What's going on here? The lovers. Okay, look at that. We are one. We are one. What's that song? Heartache to heartache, we stand. No promises, no demands. Love is a battlefield. There we go. The magician. Oh, are you guys manifesting love here? Love by LL Cool J. That's what I just heard. Love. I need love. So look. I don't know if you're mindfully manifesting this, but love is coming. Three of swords. Heartbreak. heartbreak? What the hell? Okay, so look. You guys are doing a lot of heart chakra healing here. You have a lover's. As the beginning, you have the three of swords as the end. Okay, so look. Clarity about situations matters of the heart. Things that affect you when it comes to your heart chakra. Things that you care about deeply. And for a lot of you, this does have to do with love. This has to do with relationships. This has to do with, you know, um, family relationships too. Not just romantic. But this is like, I'm healing my heart. Like, I'm, I'm working on my heart. I'm working on understanding my feelings and how I love and... What type of love I, I I wish to see back. That's what I'm getting. But you have like ancestors and spirit guides and spirits watching over you. And I'm just getting, I keep getting like this cold air on my neck. Like I do feel like there's like some type of guide helping you guys. Giving you clarity. Cutting yourself free from sadness and grief of the heart. But with the magician here, it, that's like, okay, I have everything I need in me to manifest what I want. It's like I have it all, but yet I still feel sad. Kind of makes me think of the Lana Del Rey song. What does she say? 
You're screwed up and you're brilliant and you're brilliant. You look like a million dollar man. Um, well, she said, then why was my heart so broke? I don't know. She's basically saying like he's perfect, but she still feels broke. She still feels like down. Um, that's just an example. That could have to do with one of you. Like maybe you're in a relationship, you still feel like kind of down, but that's not for everyone. Um, for a lot of you, it's just like this love that you need to give yourself. A lot of you, it's like, well, I have everything. Why am I still feeling this way? This has a lot to do with you guys' heart chakra. Like this is a sh stressing heart chakra. What do we have? Ten of swords. Oh my God. So some of you guys feel like, like there's been an ending or like, um, some of you guys may have felt betrayed in love. A lot of you guys need to heal the way you see love. Maybe even the way you see men or women. Maybe the way you see marriage. The way you, you see love. A lot of you guys are really need to focus on the self-love and the what type of love you're willing to receive from others. Some of you guys need to be more vulnerable and open to love. This is wild. So this is like, Scorpio, this is major heart chakra healing. Um, the way you receive love. The way you give love what you expect from love. These are all conversations to have with yourself and with family members and with partners. Hmm. Let's see what else you guys need to know. I'm not done here with this because I think this is interesting. So there is going to be an ending. What's underneath the Ten of Swords? Seven of Wands. You're going to be kind of protecting your energy after this. I don't think it's bad. I just think you guys have gone through something. You're completing a cycle. Synchronicities. This just came up. Focus on the synchronicities that you receive at this time. Let's see what else. You have spiritual guidance coming through. Look, we have in tune. Look at the couple kissing at a carnival or at, at a fair. Or at a pier with the Ferris wheel. And we have the magician. So some of you guys are manifesting love. I'm telling you, so a lot of you... You guys have partnership here. A lot of you guys are manifesting some type of love. What is this? Rest. So a lot of you guys need to rest. Brother is here. Huh. So maybe something connected to a sibling or family that you guys need to heal from. The artist. A lot of you need to create... A lot of you guys need to tap more into creative energy at this time to help you. Helps to heal. Pumpkin, dance for life and love. You guys need to be more playful. You guys need to dance more. Raise your frequency. Mauve, emotional flexibility. Keep in mind that the elements... The directions, our energy, our emotions all help us to manifest different things. Jasper, follow the leader. No one to rest. No one to take charge. Knowing when, how to allow someone else to take charge is what I'm hearing. A lot of communication, a lot of clarity coming through. Can I have one card? That was two. We have one. Thank you. Smoke. Ignorance and mystery. So you're going to feel like I didn't know this. Like there's something you guys didn't know. We have spinach. Follow your spirit. That's what I just heard. Follow your spirit. Follow your spirit. But this is toughen your spirit. That's kind of interesting. Toughen your spirit. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. That's what I just I keep hearing. Follow your heart. Do what you feel called to do. Forgive, release whoever this is that's hurt you in the past. Release whatever situation that's hurt you from the past. Clarify this. Nine of Pentacles. This is that single independent energy, like learning how to go at it alone. Some of you guys could be missing someone. Some of you guys are missing a past on loved one is what I'm getting because I'm getting like maybe someone may have lost a brother or sister and you're missing them. The emperor. Wow. For some of you, it could be a father or grandfather. 
either way, you guys, this is about independence, taking control and power of your life. I'm hearing Jesus take the will by Carrie Underwood, but I'm also hearing like you taking control of your life, doing the things you can. You guys want to watch your, um, the, look, this is your card. The tower card came out. Yep, this is a huge change that's going to be happening for you guys, um, Scorpio. But I'm also hearing watch how you speak to people during this time because I'm getting there's a lot of sensitivity. And you guys could be feeling very passionate about something. So just watch your communication during this time. Tower, what is it here for? Isn't there a song? What is it here for? Six of Pentacles is about balance. Okay. Eight of Swords, this is feeling stuck. The higher font, divine, God, source. So this is a predestined, like this was, this is supposed to happen for you guys. Like, don't even worry. Ten of Pentacles, family, home life, finances, prosperity. I'm hearing don't worry about how certain things play out. Just know that it's supposed to play out for your greater good. It's supposed to play out for you and your benefit. And this looks good. This looks really good. Yeah, so you guys need to release pain from the past. It's a lot of past undoing that needs to be done. So you guys could also be looking into like um, Archangel Metatron. Um, whoa, Archangel Metatron. That just came through. Archangel Michael cutting the cord, you know, videos, meditations. You guys might um, feel called to get um, Archangel Metatron. Whoa, they keep saying Archangel Metatron. I want to say Archangel Michael um, Candle, so look him up for protection. But they keep saying Archangel Metatron as well. So that's like higher realm energy coming through. So you guys may feel called to work with Archangel Metatron, okay? Financially, things are going to look up, okay? Four of Wands, the home, everything's looking good and structured. Don't worry about it. Stay positive is what I'm, I'm hearing. Stay positive. Stay focused on the vision ahead of you. Stay focused on the vision ahead of you. They just said, what is this? Argonite, release your emotional baggage. Yes, some of you guys that see emotional baggage, the three of swords, that's what's holding you back. I'm hearing every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. I'm Tyrese and Chingy. Angel light, look at that. Support is all around you. So you guys have angelic support. You guys have support all around you is what they're saying. A lot of you need to know that there's a sibling from on the other side that's guiding you and helping you. There's also a grandfather or a great grandfather, even a father. There's a strong masculine presence that's also helping you, okay? For some of you, this is a brother. So start fresh, meaning like don't be afraid to start something all over. Like I'm hearing something with creativity, the project. Don't be afraid to start the project over. Don't be afraid to rebrand your, your business or rebrand yourself. Don't, don't be afraid to begin again. They're playing begin again by Purity Ring. Yeah, be, begin again, okay? But things are looking good. This, this smoke and cloud and ignor, um, ignorance and mystery. What is this about? The star. Being able to see through the dark. Yeah, so this is hope. You guys are going to have some type of faith, hope, light in the night. This is beautiful. This is also healing. So this mental fog needs to clear up. I feel like some of you guys might be maybe having like a mental fog and it's due to your emotions. So you guys need to clear that up. Clear that up by working out. Working out can help with that. Meditation prayer can help with that. You guys um, clear the mental fog, you know, keep your schedule, you know, clear and straight to the point. Like don't have a bunch of stuff on your schedule. Raise your frequency. Okay. But love is coming your way. And you're manifesting some amazing things. But first, there's some emotional baggage that we got to drop off because it's a little too heavy. And right now, you're looking like the bag lady. We don't want that. So you are dropping off like just things that don't serve you anymore, okay? You guys are focusing on healing. You guys are really focusing on healing, Scorpios. That's what they want you to focus on is being at one with yourself, mind, body, and soul. That's what the lover's part is, true. You can manifest anything you desire. So I just heard. What else do you guys need to know? Scorpio? Oh, that was way too many. Can I have like one please, Holy Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know for their highest good? 
Is that one? No, oh, that's two. Can I have one, please, for Scorpio? Bingo. The best experiences of my past shall be the worst of my future. You are heating up. You are flaming hot. You are 360 slam dunking all resistance gremlins that stand in your way. Your focus is escalating. Your mind is a factory of awareness. Each night you rest as stronger, smarter, happier, and more meaningful person than you were at any other time in life. May the best moments of your past be the worst of your future. Wow. There's better to come. So don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the past heartbreaks and what you've experienced. There's better things on the other side. Like, so for example, you're over here focused on this energy and still kind of thinking about the past, what's happened, what's occurred. What, what would you do if you could go back? They're saying, don't worry about that. And in fact, don't get over anxious about the future either. You just focus on the here and now. Things are going to play out in the here and now in the present moment for you. They just keep saying that. So don't, you know, forgive and release the pain that's happened in the past when it comes to your emotions and your heart and love. Like I said, this love could be from anyone. So just forgive and, you know, I'm here to set yourself free. Set yourself free from this emo emotional baggage. For some of you, it's grief. For some of you, it's just pure sadness. For some of you, it's confusion. So just feel these emotions, release them. The best experiences of my past shall be the worst of my future. I'm hearing the best is yet to come and babe, won't it be fine? That's what I'm hearing. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. And for some of you, that's about that's about love as well. The best is yet to come. You just don't see it yet. The best is yet to come. They're hinting at it. It's like, yeah, we have all this laid out and structured for you. But we're not going to bring this person in until the time is right. That's what I just heard. Okay. So you guys just focus on creating and um, focus on self-love. Spoil yourself. Do a lot of journaling prompts is what I'm hearing for self-love. And stay at peace, okay? That's what I have for you guys. Pisces. Pisces, I've been talking for a very long time and I have not had any water. So we're going to drink some water. Oh, you guys feeling a little tired um some of you guys might need rest dear god holy spirit please use me as divine channel for the most pierced holy love and light what is the sign of pisces need to know everyone who falls under the sign of pisces moon sun rising mercury venus mars all of those who fall under the sign of pisces what do they need to know inclusive that's what i just heard being inclusive okay ace of swords communicating sharing building your own soul tribe yeah knowing who's for you and who's not for you who's being genuine and who isn't that's what i just heard seeing the truth reading people well high priestess energy Archangel Michael, Siren, Protection. Two of Cups. There you go. What's at the bottom? The Chariot, Success, Forward Movement, Confidence, Power. Yeah, okay, be nice. That's what it says, be nice. That could be an extra message for you guys. But look, you guys have love coming. A lot of you guys have a relationship. It's already connected in the higher realms. It's, also, it's already kind of there in the higher realms, just kind of waiting, floating around. They want you to know that you guys have a strong connection that's going to come in very soon with someone. Mm -hmm. you, you guys have already been connecting. That's what's crazy. Like in the five, you guys have already been connecting. Strong communication coming in about things that you've invested time in and energy in. Receiving knowledge. Lots of knowledge. Lots of wisdom. Okay, you guys. As well as getting knowledge and wisdom on a partnership. But I do feel like you guys could be coming into some type of, um, I don't want to say union, but, but that's the word, union, agreement. Um, it's like all of a sudden things are going to play out in alignment for you. I don't know why it's just like, oh, well, I was having all these obstacles and burdens before and now things are running smooth. That's perfect. 
I'm hearing, I don't want to jinx it. Like, I don't want to mess up a good thing. Don't worry, you guys have success coming your way. Lots of it. Just speak your truth. Stay, stay in your authenticity. That's what I'm hearing. Finder of lost things. Yeah, you guys are about to figure out the truth. You guys may actually find something that you've lost. But anyways, finder of lost things. Ace of swords. Clarity. Community. Wow. Okay. Empress. The Empress falling underneath the High Priestess, you guys. That's amazing. That's like Divine Feminine. That's two of the most highest, strongest feminine energies in the tarot, in my opinion. And now you have them laid up right next to each other. So, you guys, like, for some of you, I just heard... You may be afraid to come out of the closet. Speak your truth and live in your authenticity. Some of you guys uh, are same-sex couples. Um, speak your truth, live in your authenticity is what I'm hearing. Work with Archangel Michael for protection. I'm hearing you are blessed. You are beyond blessed. Hmm. The Empress has everything she needs. She's abundant. She's fertile. The High Priestess has a connection to the higher realms. She's blessed, but with a different knowledge, spiritual knowledge. You guys both have something to brief to, brief to the table, bring to the table. You guys are going to meet someone that you're going to have a good balance with, especially if you don't know who this person is. Now, for some of you, you do not have to be in a same-sex relationship. I just threw that out there for... It could be like for one or two people, okay? But um, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be spending time getting to know yourself better, okay? Because I'm, I'm getting 5D energy of yourself and a 3D energy of yourself that need to kind of merge together. Let's see. Oof. You guys have the Will of Fortune underneath the Two Cups. This is destined to play out. This is like karma faded. This union, this coupling with someone. Wow. You guys have spiritual guidance too coming out. Come on. With the Ace of Swords, you guys are definitely being guided and communicate. You guys are receiving communication. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Seven of Pentacles, continue to build, continue to sow the seeds. Cotton candy, make a wish. So they want you to make a wish. What are the things you've always wanted? What are the things you always wish for? Things coming to surface. Wants, desires coming to surface. Things you thought you couldn't have, you can have. Himalaya, pure love. Oh, pure love for your community. Pure love for your tribe. Making sure it's equal. Equal energy exchange. Salmon, overcoming adversity. Yes, overcoming adversity. Way too many. Can I have one card, please? Thank you. Orchid, raise your frequency. Raise your vibration. So, for a lot of you, um, this coupling, this partnership it has not come in yet because there's a certain frequency that you need to be at in order to meet them. Yeah, new age evolution. There's a different, like, frequency you have to be at to meet this person. Or at least to be in a relationship with them. Which is beautiful because it, it means that both of you need to grow in order to meet each other at this certain frequency. Okay, so do know you have a soulmate that's kind of lingering in your energy field, but it's like the very last two steps. Like, let me make sure that I'm wise with my money. I'm wise with my spending. I'm wise with the people I have around me. I know who's around me. I know what I have um, to share. I'm hearing I, I am the whole table. Like, I know my worth. So this is interesting. You have a destined um, faded event, a destined faded meetup that's going to take place. The high priestess and empress meaning you're connected to your 5D and 3D side. Strong connection and overcoming adversity. Seven of pentacles and community.
pure love. She cared a lot about her community. She cared a lot about her community. You guys, I just heard she cared a lot about her community. Yo, I just like went into trance there. Like, I don't even know what that was about. Um, you guys could be connecting with a feminine figure that's from on the other side. Okay, we're going to tap into that. Ace of Swords, Clarity, Finder of Lost Things, Finder of Hidden Things. As they just said, make a wish. This is someone from the other side. There's someone speaking with you because I just went like, whoa. Like, um, let me get my tarot over here. What is this about? Who is this? I feel like this is some type of guardian. Yeah, trying to communicate with you. Okay, so you guys, this is your 3D and 5D self, but for a lot of you, this is also a feminine figure that's trying to communicate with you because you're now the high priestess. So they, they're like, oh, you can hear me now because you're tapped in. Temperance, Archangel Raphael healing. You guys have a major arcana here healing now. So you guys have three major arcanas. Well, four actually. Ten of Pentacles. This is an ancestor. This is an ancestor trying to communicate with you. For some of you, it could be a mother or a grandmother trying to help you and communicate with you at this time, bringing in love, love of community, family. They want you to work with like, you know, the ancestors work with family, living and past all ancestors that are for your highest good only, building your own legacy, your own community, soul tribe, putting in the work, working with your community. They're saying you don't have to go at it alone, working with your community, overcoming any obstacles, hurt, hurdles, connecting with your higher self more. This is beautiful, you guys. You guys are evolving you guys are bringing a good balance. Sometimes it's hard to find balance in life with everything that you have on your plate. But I do feel like you guys want to have a good balance here. It's all about patience. I'm also hearing something about a, someone being a doula. Someone may be thinking about, about being a midwife, a doula. Um, someone might want to work with children is what I'm getting or with animals that's coming through. Um, but this is beautiful. So this is about healing. Some of you guys might feel called to go into the healing profession or you already are. But um, healing takes place on so many different levels. So keep that in mind. But make a wish because they're saying that it's time to manifest new things. It's time to get clear about what it is you want and, and look at new ways of manifesting. So I just heard look at new ways of manifesting. Feel it as if it's already happened. This one's deep. This one's deep. I feel like this feminine figure is trying to help you, trying to communicate with you more. I don't know why they're saying Catwoman. This makes me think of Catwoman. Show me the Holly Berry um, Catwoman. How the cat chose her. Yeah, it's like you're the chosen one. So I just heard you're chosen out of your bloodline to achieve something, to do something. All right, Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? The pit of light, recall your dreams. Oh, that's perfect for you, Pisces. So you guys need to focus on your dreams. You guys might feel called to get a dream journal. Oh, yeah, the high priestess energy. That's how they're connecting with you. So we have our Aragonite. Release your emotional baggage. Kind of like another zodiac sign we have, have that. So releasing emotional baggage, recalling your dreams, okay? And what's at the bottom? Crystal Cola, start fresh. They're saying what's at the top? Crystal phrase, allow yourself to receive, okay? Allow yourself to receive help. Allow yourself to receive love. That's what I just heard. Let's see what else. A lot of success coming, you guys, as well. I just keep hearing that. A lot of success, Pisces. It's a little dreamy. It's a little heady. Um, but they're saying get grounded, even if you need to take notes on different things that are happening in life. Just get grounded. Sometimes it's better to see it in front of you. That's why I just heard, like, writing down stuff in front of you. I am happy and free because I am me. And look at the little birdie singing. You guys may feel called to sing. What do we have? Resistance gremlins sometimes surge into the form of insecurity. Unload your machine gun of confidence to defeat them. When you believe in yourself, there is no need to, to convince others. Johnny might have bigger muscles than a sweet Fu Manchu, and Millie might have bathtubs full of Benjamins, but comparison is the thief of joy. Move forward with the confidence of a beard-ass toddler running around with his diaper on his head. 
When you love and accept your confidence, mm, I said confidence as well. When you love and accept your differences, the world will allow and accept you. Hmm. I am happy and free because I am me. And no one can take that away from you. Yeah, I'm getting like you guys really connecting with the different aspects of yourself. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. Pisces, we're moving on into Libra. Oh, you guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm tired. Libra. I'm going to drink some water, Libras. Hope all is well. I really want to munch on something. Oh, no. But I don't want to, like, chew and have you guys hear all that. Like, you guys don't want to hear that. But I am hungry. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that needs to come through. Dear God, Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most pure, holy love and light only. What does the zodiac sign of Libra need to know? Okay, so this is a timeless reading for all the zodiac signs. But Libras, if you're watching this when I post this, you really want to connect with that full moon and Libra. And as I said that, the sirens came, um, started in the background. So that full moon in Libra is April 16th. Which I also realized is Selena's, um, Selena Quintanilla's birthday. Um, and her name actually means moon. So I don't know. Maybe you guys need to focus on um, celebrating, dancing, um, listening to high frequency music, having fun, manifesting something powerful because it's a full moon in Libra. It's a pink moon. That's if you're watching it during this time. Now, if you're watching this and we're past that, this is just meaning that you guys need to pay attention to the moon cycles and manifest on these days, okay? Be careful while driving. That's what I just heard. Be aware of people drive be aware of other drivers is what I'm hearing. Be aware of other drivers. Be aware while walking. Just being observant about your surroundings is big. Strength. Okay. Two of cups. Partnership. Friendships. Love. Temperance. Healing and balance. Some healing when it comes to relationships. Yeah. The world. Ooh. Okay. Cycles ending and beginning. You guys have three major arcanas out here. This is powerful changes. What do we have to buy? Oh, no. You guys have the judgment card. You guys have the judgment card. This is this is a rebirth for me, but this is also, when I see the judgment card in the world, I think of the higher dimensions. I think of like heaven. I think of the book of Revelations as well. So this is like divine beings, especially with the temperance card, which is Archangel Raphael for me. And you have the strength card as well. These are like, this is like a, like a higher dimension reading. Like this is a higher realmed reading. Um, I don't even know how to explain this to you, but this is a higher realm to reading. They're not saying much, meaning that you are connecting to a higher dimension at this time, Libra. And I said the whole full moon thing. So maybe that's the point that you are connecting with higher dimensions and you need to, you need to take note of that. Like you need to use that energy as much as you can, you know, start praying and, and meditating and manifesting what it is you want, but not, it's this power this is dimension, this energy isn't just to manifest what you want, but it's also to connect more, to gain wisdom and, and knowledge and, you know, practices. Like, it's to channel that and, re and get it as, as quickly as you can, is what I'm hearing. Like, get those channeled messages. Write them down because it's deep. Resilience, strength and resilience. Your ancestors are strong and resilient. And they're saying, so are you. They're also helping, um, your angels and guides are helping you guys to um, have a like a relationship. There's going to be communication coming in very soon about a relationship. Gratitude. Yeah, you guys need to be gr um, focused more on devotion and gratitude when it comes to your, when it comes to God, the Holy Spirit, your angels, the ancestors, and spirit guides, the archangels. 
rise. Oh my God, the world. And it was crazy. The woman in the world card is rising. So it's like I'm rising above it all. I'm rising above these, these different cycles. I'm rising. Planting the seeds. Yes. So the seeds are already planted. Things take time to grow. That's what I'm hearing. Things take time to grow. Wise out, inner wisdom, and foresight. So some of you guys, that's that crown chakra and third eye chakra. Some of you guys could be receiving, like I said, channel messages, downloads, foresight into something, seeing the truth of something. This card wants to be seen so badly. They're telling me to take all three of these. That's wow. What is this? What are these three cards? Luna Moth, Goddess Ishtar, and Fertility. Some of you guys, if you've been trying to get pregnant, uh, you may be receiving communication about that quite soon. Okay? Um, fertility, though, that's, that's really beautiful. And Goddess Ishtar, you guys want to look her up. What do we have here? Butter buttercup, give it time. Wait, no, no. Sweet surrender. Okay, so surrendering to angelic help, asking the angels for help. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael for help is what I'm hearing. Thanking them for help. Allowing divine to help you. La Luna, inner flow and cycle. Yeah, there's a cycle that's changing. For some of you, there could be um, like a, a shift or something um, changing within your menstrual cycle. I have to say that. For some of you, this has to do with your um, hormonal, like I'm hearing horm horm hormones. Um, for someone out there, I just heard hormonal imbalance. If you've been feeling really sluggish and maybe sad out of nowhere, you want to look into that. I'm not a doctor, but I would highly suggest you to speak to one. Nothing to be worried about, just to see, okay? Um, and then you can prove, hey, there was something, you know, going on. Going on. Maybe you needed a certain supplement, a certain vitamin, but just speak to your doctor. Anyways, roll card, cycle card, fertility card. This is like needing to connect with feminine healing, okay? Needing to connect with a special energy that has to do with... um. Femininity and womb healing, okay, for some of you, okay? It's not just womb healing, but, you know, stems there. So, something about the cycles, but I also do feel like you're, you know, obviously, there's, you're at the end of a, a like a chapter. You're at, you're at the end of a page. Like, some, this book is about to, to close. Like, there's something that's about to close. This is amazing. So you're going to have deeper foresight on what's beyond the veil. That's what I just heard on what's beyond beyond the veil. A lot of like zoned out channel energy for you guys. I feel like you guys are going to um, be able to hear clearly soon. Clear audience. That's what they're saying. Get laser focus. You guys will be able to hear clearly, see clearly. You're going to see something and hear something from the higher realms. Selenite. Clear the clutter. That's mental. Okay. Citrine, bring in the light, which is beautiful because you have sweet surrender. Bring in the light. Be the light. Okay, so perfect perfection doesn't exist. Perfection does not exist. But living in your light is powerful. Living the best you can is possible. It's beautiful, actually. You guys are being called to do the best you can. Like, just do what you can do. Don't worry about anything else. You just focus on, on the things that you can take care of in life. I don't know what that's about. Pray over it. Give it over to the divine. They're hearing you because all this major arcana, they're here. The moon cycles are just so strong here. This is like strong goddess energy, strong moon cycle energy. Connection to higher realms, universe speaking, communication, like just out of nowhere. Meeting someone that tells you they had a dream about you. It's crazy. Just like different stuff happening where you're like, okay, this is interesting. Like, you are, you guys are um, just connecting with something that's so out of this world. It's amazing, okay? Um, stay protected. Keep your peace. Let's see what else you guys need to know. 
Libra, stay in balance, Libra. What do we have? Today I am 1% better. To, today I will help another freedom soldier become one better. 1% better, I said one better. Today I am 1% better. Today I will help another freedom soldier become 1% be better, okay? I don't know why they just said Dunkirk. What? The movie Dunkirk. That's so strange. You could have been an ant protecting your queen or a leaf on a bush in the jungle, but you aren't. You are you. You are supposed to be you. You are super fly and sexy as life is a discovery of yourself and then a, dis and then a journey to help others discover their magic as well. What can you do today to get closer to the new you? How can this new you help those around you? Every day, ask yourself these questions. How can I become 1% better? How can I use my services to help another become 1% better? Hmm. That's beautiful. Take a screenshot of that, you guys. It's beautiful. I'm hearing better times are ahead of you guys. Better times are ahead of you. Okay, just I'm hearing a lot of different things are going to be happening for you. The best thing you could do is just breathe through it. Stay calm. You do not have to get everything done in a day. Take it easy and relax and know that things are going to work out in your favor. Okay, so let's start with Gemini. Thank you guys. Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most pure holy love and light. What is the zodiac sign of Gemini needs to know? What is the zodiac sign of Gemini needs to know, Holy Spirit? Clarity and wisdom, thank Holy Spirit. What is the zodiac sign of Gemini needs to know? Garden Lake, what? They're saying be free, something like a, about a lake, going to park, something about a lake. They're showing me koi fish now, and they're showing me swans or wait, ducks. Something about a late King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Doesn't have to be the financial stability. Gemini, structure, home, Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, we're focusing on money, resources. We're, we're talking about devotion, putting in time on something that's stable. Yep, Five of Pentacles. We're talking about money here, all right? Mm -hmm. Death, uh, inheritance is what I'm hearing. We're talking about Pluto energy. Is this eighth house energy? There's something about Scorpio energy coming through for you guys in your reading, Gemini. All right, so communication from my past on loved one just came through. That's been coming through in a couple of readings. Communication trying to come through from someone who's who's you know who's been left behind, someone who's gone, trying to communicate, help you with your finances. All right, so you guys have help from the other side. Nine of Swords. They're trying to free you, but you guys could be staying up at night. Some of you guys could be battling with insomnia. Some of you guys need to look at melatonin, melatonin spray. Some of you guys could just be up anxious or just having a lot of energy sometimes people are more energized and fueled at night um than they are in, during daytime but you guys are overcoming obstacles and hurdles um but you're going through a transformation the death card is at the end okay and then you have the nine of swords you're going through a huge transformation you guys could be receiving different things in dreams um yeah but this is like feeling alone then you have the death card which is like iced out cold Feeling iced out cold. Some of you guys could be worried about not having enough. Some of you guys could be worried about being alone or homeless or not having enough. They're saying get rid of that fear. It's false evidence appearing real. You always have more than enough is what they're saying. You always have more than enough. Because yeah, I'm getting like a winter vibe. Like someone feeling kind of like cold. Like man, like how's this going to work out for me? Things are going to work out for you in your favor. You need to trust and believe. Even when you don't see a way, there is a way, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Rebel. I just heard rebel with a cause. Follow your heart. Do things differently. Do things your way. It's going to stand out. So communication coming from spirit. I'm hearing from spirit. Spiritual guidance coming through. Have faith in your dreams. Do not give up is what I'm hearing. Do not give up. And then you have sister. Some of you guys may have a passed on sister that's watching over you. 
winter is important for you guys as well. But um, some of you guys may have a past on sister that could be um, guiding you guys at this time. It doesn't have to be. It's for someone out there. Old and New Order, Eden. Let Love Enter Pink. Peach Open Certainty. I'm hearing someone say, are you sure? I'm hearing don't doubt yourself. Pumpkin, dance for love and life. Yeah, go have fun. You guys may actually want to need to celebrate. Either um, someone who's passed away or just in general, your ancestors are wanting you guys to dance more. They're wanting to put on music and dance. They want you to clean and, you know, focus on your priorities. Cook and clean with music on, dancing. They want you to have fun. That's what I'm hearing, fun. Some of you guys could also be clear audience. Another um, zodiac sign had something about that coming through. We have sky blue. Express more magic. It's time to tap into your... Um, your, your, I'm hearing the alchemist. It's time to tap into your power, your skills of transmutation, transmuting energies, negative energies into positive energies. So let love enter your life because they're trying to bring love into your life. They want you to know that. They're wanting you to know that you're going to receive clarity on a certain situation. They just need you to have faith. They're going to help you to see the truth for what it is and to remove all illusions. Um, dance for life. They want you to dance, connect with your ancestors via dance is what I'm hearing. They want you to have fun. Don't be afraid of anything. They want you to have fun. That's what they're saying, okay? Let's see what else you guys need to know. Get crystal clear about what it is you desire. So we have clear quartz. Get crystal clear about what it is you desire. Angel or quartz, lighten up. So they want you guys to play more. They want you to have fun. You guys have all these like different white stones. Live your purpose. Moonstones. They want you guys to live your purpose. They're saying you have a purpose here. Live your, you know, live up to it. Live your life. Get crystal clear about what it is you want. Live your purpose and lighten up. Go have fun. Go have fun. That's what I'm hearing. Go have fun. Follow your intuition. And go have fun. Let's see what else you guys need to know. I feel like clarifying this. I'm going to clarify this because I want to know something real quick. King, okay, so I, I want to say King of Cups. Can't um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be, but someone who greatly loves you is, is communicating with you. Some type of past and loved one that greatly loves you. Three of Swords, yeah. This person could have passed from a heart issue. Um, I don't know. They don't, you know, something with health. Yeah, but either way, there's a past and loved one that really um, watches over you. Two of Pentacles, they're helping you. Look at the, the skull. That's ancestors. I cannot make this up. Like they say so they said something about Day of the Dead earlier. And now I'm seeing the skull. I don't know if I mentioned that. But look, there's ancestor help here. You guys may feel called to make an ancestor um altar. Um connecting with the ancestors that you're closest to, those that you know are good. Um, but I do feel like you guys are gonna be connecting with ancestors. Like that's a strong message. Look, we have King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So very passionate and protective over you is what I'm hearing. So you guys are being watched over. Okay. Whoa, what is this one? I am an axe-wielding warrior and I slay all things. Okay. You are the blood of savages, warriors, knights, and raging maniacs that refuse to quit. For millions of years, your ancestors were hardcore fighters and survivors. And had any of them dropped dead before successfully reproducing, you wouldn't be here today. You are a golden goose with genes so powerful you can survive natural disasters, droughts, plagues, and wars. Armor up and swing your battle axe at any force that steps in the way of your creations. Hmm. We talked about ancestors. Isn't that amazing? So I want you guys to take a screenshot of this if you can. 
All right. Yeah, you guys are connecting with a past one, loved one. That's going to help you. I want to see something else. I should have did this earlier. I want you to have faith. King of Cups. I said King of Cups. Yeah, you guys could be missing someone. Or this ancestor is missing you. And they want you to know that they love you. They're watching over you. And they're helping you. I'm hearing they're helping you. Yeah, because you are afraid of some type of ending. And they're giving you strength and clarity to make a decision on who to trust and how to how to save money is what they're saying. And they're they're gonna help you with success and happiness and joy. They're gonna give you a new beginning. So you you have like a lot of strong ancestral and angelic help here, okay? So don't doubt yourself. Know that you're always protected and watched over. Gemini's, make sure you're resting. Make sure that you are, um, you know, go to bed at a certain time. Wake up at a certain time. And meditate when you wake up in the middle of the night. Keep a dream journal by you. Do things your way, okay? Do things your way. That's what's going to bring you the, mo the most success is by doing things differently. Doing things your own way, okay? Be unique, be authentic to you is what I'm hearing, okay? Do what you want and not what others want you to do, okay? So, wow, yeah. They want you to focus on being who you want to be. It's such a strong message coming through. All right, you guys. Thank you. I'm moving on to... Aquarius. Aquarius. I just heard star babies. Dear God, Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light. What does the zodiac sign of Aquarius need to know during this time? Why did I just hear Apollo 13? Is that a movie? Apollo? Apollo 13? Is that a deity? Apollo? Mm, okay. Be something with that. Aquarius. Breathe deeply and release slowly. Nostalgia? I don't know why they just show me green carpet. Nostalgia, clean home, fresh air. They're saying nostalgic, like from childhood, something that makes you feel comfortable. Um, they're actually showing me an old friend's house, like an old friend of um, mine, their home. I don't know why, um, I don't know why I just heard earthquake, something shaking up for you, whoa, it's almost fell out, page of swords, study, um, there could be a childhood friend that could be watching you guys, Aquarius, someone from the past could be watching you, possibly a childhood friend, someone that you have memories with. Something about an earthquake that could just be like a shake up. If the tower comes out, we're going to understand. Okay, let me see. Ace of Pentacles. All right. Yes. Scholarships available. Oh, there we go. There's the earthquake tower. What else? Four of Pentacles. All right. Okay. So basically, there's going to be a bit of a shake up, a little shake here. Okay. A little nudge in a different direction from the divine. Okay, um, angelic support, ancestral, um, oh, I just heard ancestral awakening, what? Okay, so look, you guys have help from the other realms, okay? I'm getting like um, visitations from the higher realms, visitation from angels and the ancestors. Basically, they're wanting you to learn more, they're wanting you to gain more information, and they're wanting you to receive more. Um, knowledge is power. Wisdom is power. Knowledge is wealth. What is that? Isn't there something in the Bible um, that says my people lack from my people perish from a lack of knowledge or something like that? So knowledge is key. 
Um, you guys could be deciding to get a book to learn something, taking classes, taking courses on something. But knowledge is key. All right. Keep that in mind, Aquarius. Knowledge is key here in your reading. Um, you're going to be given some type of offer. Now, you have the tarot, the tarot card here, of course. You have the tower card here, which is Scorpio energy, which represents like, you know, shake up, destruction, um, something happening out of nowhere. It could just even be shock. Makes me think of the comic book when you hear wow, wowza, pop, bang. It's that, okay? And then you have the four of pentacles here and she's like closed off. She's usually holding on so tightly to her resources, okay? She holds so on tightly to what she has. So it's like you're gonna gain something and you're gonna hold on very tightly to it. Let's see. What's at the bottom of the deck here? You guys have temperance. I mean, so many people have been getting temperance at the bottom of the deck, which is like angelic guidance. There's something going on where like angels and, and people's ancestors are standing close to them during these times, okay? You guys also have some type of spiritual, um, like, um, I don't know why they say presentation. It's so weird. You guys also have some type of spiritual, um, well, that's crazy. I have a plant that keeps moving it's a money tree you guys might actually want to get a money tree um but no no no. you guys might be receiving some like ancestral spirit um visitations because yep you guys are the will of fortune <sighs> fate destiny karma they're coming through to help you she has her magic ball and she has a bunch of cards and she has wings i'm telling you they're trying to come through and help you. There's a lot of visitations during this time. You guys may feel air on, like cold air in your cheek. I'm hearing, I'm getting like more on hearing. Wow, hearing and getting more on the left side. I feel coldness on, on my cheek, like a breeze. Like you're gonna feel the presence of, of um, a spirit, like of a spirit guide, of an angel ancestor, and it's gonna shock you. You're gonna feel it. It's gonna come through like a breeze. This has been happening, um, a lot lately and it's coming up in zodiac sign reading so i don't know if the portal is like thin right now or whenever you watch this um yeah so will of fortune at the bottom of the deck you have two major arcana cards here they're saying that this they want you to look at money in a different way money is energy they want you to know that you are fortunate they want you to start manifesting money they want you to start living from a place of wealth they want you to see wealth as something that you already have they want you to um speak it into existence is what i'm hearing speak wealth over your life stay away from drama and speak wealth over your life yeah sister okay so some of you guys your sister could be watching you stalking you or wanting to communicate with you the wind picked up as i said that that is creepy um some of you guys strong i'm telling you strong communication from past on loved ones trying to come through but we also have a sister here who, you know, she doesn't have to be passed on. But we have a sister here or someone who, who was like a sister wanting to communicate with you, um, watching you, spying on you, actually. Um, night vision here. Artist here. You guys need to create something. It could even be that one of your pieces of art, something that you've created, it's going to take off much quicker or you might go viral. Something's going to happen like out of nowhere for you. Night vision, something's going to happen overnight for you. Okay, something can happen overnight for you. You're, they're saying you're ready. Look at her. It's windy. We just had that wind come through. You heard it. You guys are connecting with the elements. But Aquarius, you are the you are an air sign. Sometimes people think mistake you for a water sign. You're like the air water sign, really. But it's like a mist. Like when you're at the ocean, the wind pick, picks up and you can smell this the salt. And you can feel the mist of that, of the water, but it's airy. It's very fresh. You guys might want to keep that in mind. Maybe you need to go and spend time near the ocean. But fresh air, get fresh air. But there's something about the wind picking up, the wind carrying something. Now they're playing Colors of the Wind. How corny and fitting. Um, maybe you guys actually need to go and listen to that. But anyways, the wind's picking something up. It's, something's drifting. Some, something's moving. 
to you guys, okay? They're saying you're ready. You're ready for whatever this change is. You're ready for whatever this is. And I want you to remember that the will of fortune is also karma, okay? It can play out in any way. Whatever you've, you know, put out there, it's going to come back. And I do feel like your hard work and effort is noticed. You have some type of offer that's going to come to you. I really do believe that. It's going to happen overnight. And this could shock you. This could even be, for some of you, um, opportunity to show off your work. Um, get a scholarship in something. Get an internship. You're going to be able to showcase your work in some type of way. Some of you guys may even start like an art gallery. Um, you might be a part of some type of contest or a competition. Even like a competition show. Um, there's something about you getting out there, getting your, your craft out there. And we have communication. I'm telling you guys, there's someone from the past that's trying to communicate with you. And there's also like spirit guides and angels and ancestors that are also trying to communicate with you. So they're also showing me that scene from the movie Simply Irresistible. The man with his paper airplanes. So and how, you know. Just just go watch the movie. It's a love, it's a little love story, and she has power and she has magic. So, and there is a loved one trying to communicate with her. So I'm telling you, just know that you are not alone. And you have some type of success that's trying to come in, and it's because of these ancestors and angels. Yeah, expansion, new opportunity, sunflower. You guys might actually want to bring sunflowers into your space, even if you're masculine energy, bring it into your space. Eight abundance. Don't worry how. Just know that it's going to work out for you. Don't worry about the how. You just focus on staying in this frequency of love and, and success and happiness and wealth. Healing unrequited love. So don't worry about what's could happen in the past. Just for, re, remember to always forgive and move forward. For you. Okay. I do feel like you guys are being watched. In, in, in fact, I'm getting by multiple people. So you guys just stay in the light. So we have white. We have white light here. Yeah, being in the limelight. That's what I just heard. Like, out of nowhere. The light is being shined on, on some of your work. And we have the moon, inner flow and cycle. So, I'm here and stick to your own, like, path. Stick to your own kind of vibe, your own course. Um, You know how people say, yeah, that's someone, so they just kind of do their own thing. Do your own thing. Be one of those people who just kind of do their own thing. Go at things at their own pace, is what I'm hearing. But they're saying, are you going to stay closed off? Both of these women have their arms folded. Okay. And when you have your arms folded like that, it's a form of like guarding or blocking off protection. So they're saying that, yes, protect your energy, protect your aura, have discernment when it comes to the people that come around you or who want to work with you, of course. Um, have discernment about your projects and ideas and in artwork or whatever it is. Be careful with signing contracts. Make sure you have discernment. Make sure you have someone trustworthy worthy look over it as well. Um, don't sign anything. Don't jump to the um don't jump the gun too quickly. Don't jump, don't jump. That's what they just said. Don't rush too quickly. Take your time. Yes, you are ready, but don't jump into things without, you know, having um knowledge about what it is you're signing, okay? But this four of pentacles and the, and the ready card, it's like, okay, yeah, it's good to have, you know, discernment. It's good to protect yourself and protect your energy. But staying guarded like this with your arms folded, you're not going to allow good things in. You're staying blocked off. So they're saying you have to be open to receiving. The moon, feminine energy, be open to receiving goodness. That's creepy. As I said that the wind picked up. I cannot make this up. You guys hear that? And then we have science. Speak the truth at all times. So speak up. Some of you guys might want to... Um, really work on your throat chakra you may be called to speak up in front of people you may feel called to do like a poetry like um what do they call those like go to like a poetry um open mic night or something like that um share your work speak up you guys could end up meeting some cool people or just like networking or um you could be discovered somewhere like that something about sharing your work open mic night getting your work out there a little bit more putting yourself out there a bit more. Some of you guys might start a social media account, like a business one, a business one with your with your artwork. Angelic communication, look at that. A business one with your artwork. 
a lot of you guys want to work with Archangel Gabriel specifically for communication. So you guys could be in music, you guys could be in arts. Yeah, you guys are like more of the arts pal, but not all of you. Some of you guys could be into technology. Um, I don't know, I just heard someone could be an author, so that just went back to the arts kind of. But some of you guys could be scientists or math or math uh, mathematicians. Either way, it's time to be seen. It's time to be the leader. It's time to be seen. It's time to get your work out there. Okay, so let's see what else you guys need to know. They're saying it's time to get your work out there. Of course, protect your work, but it's time to get your work out there. They're saying you're, you're, you're dimming your own light. You're holding yourself back. It's time to get out there. What is this bloodstone? Get up and get moving. Look at that. You better get up and get out and get something. Yeah, get up and get moving, bloodstone. Like, it's time. Like, these two cards look a lot alike with this tower card. It's like... Your angels are about to shake things up because they're saying, look, you're sleeping on your own self. You're sleeping on yourself. Like, you need to get out there. You need to be seen. You need to be heard. Your talents need to be shared with the world. You need to live out your life purpose, your mission. You need to get this, this show on the road. Okay? It's time. to. It's time. That's what they're saying. Lemurian courts, practice patience. So, practice patience with yourself. All right? With your skill, with your hobby. All right, so it may take some time to, to, you know, get over fear, especially since we have overcome your fears, tie your eye, right? You might want to work with that for grounding. But for example, when people go to speak in front of a bunch of people, you know, sometimes they may stutter, sometimes they may get anxious, sometimes they might, you know, blank out. Um, it takes time, you know, it's, it, it takes practice to get over stage fright. It takes Practice to get over sharing your work, you know, like, okay, I'm, now I can I can share this without caring what people think. It takes time. But the divine is stepping in, causing this tower moment in the will of fortune, shaking things up because they're saying you are playing it too safe and you're playing too small. You're too wise. You are too talented. And we have something to offer you. We have more wealth. We have more abundance, more prosperity, more happiness and joy, more success and opportunities for you. But you're closed off. So... They're going to come in with that wind. That wind is going to pick up. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. This has only happened to you guys. Aquarius, the divine ain't playing with you guys. They're saying it is time to move forward. Okay. And you guys want to work with the elements of nature. With the motorcycle moving fast too? Yeah. This is my moments turn out the best because I make the best of the way my moments turn out. Okay, look at the camera. And then it says, we all face unexpected adversity in life. Loss of income, illness in the family, someone steals your fruity pebbles. These moments always sneak up when you least expect them, causing internal mayhem in the form of anxiety, depression, and even anger. Although fruity pebbles theft should be punishable by lashings. What's done is done and cannot be damaged. Oh, cannot be damaged. Wow. Cannot be changed. Accept the disposition and make the best of what comes next. For the rest of your life, your moments will always turn out the best if you make the best of what you... Mm, if you make the best of your way, the way moments turn out, that's a tongue twister. For the rest of your life, your moments will always turn out the best if you make the best out of the way your moments turn out, Okay. So take a screenshot of this. I mean, of this. Is it out of this? Okay. Now, I want to clarify this. Let's clarify this tower. The chariot. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn Taurus. Virgo. Time to move forward. Chariot success. This could be an offer from someone. This could be meeting someone. You could also be moving towards someone. Mm-hmm. Two of Wands. Yeah, this is like action. This could be travel. You guys could be traveling very soon. Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. Traveling. Meeting a King of Pentacles. Judgment card. These are soul tribe. Soul people. I'm hearing almost soul people. So soul tribe. You guys are going to be like meeting people that you knew in past lives. Um, that are a part of your mission here. The star card. There you are. Hope healing. Right? 
your own little sacred garden. You guys um may want to look up the artist June. Um, she usually she has like the parentheses, 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 O, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. She's connected to um, um FKJ. You want to look him up. So um something about her music just came through really quickly. So listening to um spending time in nature, I just said the elements of nature. You guys want to spend time with a lot of grass, a lot of greenery, a lot of trees, bring in plants into your space, real plants. Um, purify the air around you. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself time, but it is it is even though you need to be patient with patient with yourself, it is time to you know express yourself. I'm hearing the song "Express Yourself." It's time to you know to get out there be, um, because you have a lot to share with the world. Okay. And yes, there's some people that are like watching you, so be aware of that energy. Wear some protective amulets. And stones because some people are for your highest good and then some you know they just hating so just protect your energy and know that all is well and, and everything's gonna happen in your favor okay they're saying study yeah study study okay things are gonna pick up for you things are gonna get better all you need to do is hone in on your craft your skill and surrender the things you cannot control. If you guys are worried about a loved one, you know, give it to God. Give it to your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, okay? Because you have a lot of angelic communication. Know when to rest. Know when to work. Know when to rest and know when to play. Stay in balance. Get rid of drama. Do not allow people to come to you with drama, okay? Focus on positivity. Focus on things that make you happy and smile. That's what I have for you, um, Aquarius. I hope that was able to help. I'm seeing you guys love. Have a good one.